Okay, we are live. Posting. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. That that good stuff right there. Two seconds. Boom, and we're here. Well, this is the point at which I... My gosh! Xbox fanboy, that was fast. Pretty impressive, honestly. I'm not that fast. <laughs> How do you do that? So... Dan, it's nice to have you back. Uh, I'm going to load at Lambda Core just so we can get like a little firefight before Zen going. Um, cause I feel like starting immediately at Zen is a little weird, but let's start here. I think is, is the, the way to do this. Oh yeah. Half-Life. Exactly. Oh, uh, and, and I'm, I'm running this off of an original disc as well, man. Uh, just because I, I didn't want to do the Steam version. I'm all about that uh, Sierra logo at Startup. Which I swear to God, I'm just going to quit the game and start it again just to do that. It's really your favorite game of all time? That's awesome. Well, let's, let's get that Sierra logo going. DB Cooper, it's going well, man. It's going really well. It's nice to have you here. Ooh -ha. Really crowded today. This is awesome. Uh, I I miss having the Sierra logo at startup with uh, with Half Life. Honestly. Okay. Just keeping my eyes on chat here, and I'd say we're ready now. Okay, loading up Lambda Core. I had already nudged these guys in here, so when the firefight starts, I might be able to get this guy to heal me. But hopefully, hopefully I don't need that much help. But here they come. Oh yeah. We're starting off uh, fast with the, with the aliens. Shit. But yeah, Dan, if, uh, if this is really your favorite game, then you've got good fucking taste in games, man. Whoa. Come on. Oh, he's... Giant... Giant brain... Balloons. Okay. Shit. It sounds like the scientist guy got killed. I may have failed. I did fail. Dang it. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see how the gold source engine does this catastrophe right here. Whoa! No, don't quick load me back to Zen. I know I got to Zen, but I wanted to beat Lambda Core first. Dang it. This is a matter of pride. All right. Let's try that again. Is he ready yet? Okay, good. Okay. Blue on gun makes it like almost too easy. Here we go. Whoa. Ah. Come on. Don't think you're getting away. I like how these floating guys basically are the, like, big brain meme come to life. Well, there he is. Shit. Come on. Good. Got him with that revolver. Come on. There we go. 
Perfect. Moonlight, what's up? Nice to have you back. Whoa. Mooney the Devil. Oh, that voice is so creepy when you show up in Zen. I love it. Okay. And now we've got these stacks of Alien World. Crouch jump and try not to die. Other people in hazard suits. I've always interpreted this a few different ways. The creepy voices, yeah. They're backwards. I don't know what all of them say. Well, no, not all of them are backwards. Sorry, some of them are on loop. They're on repeat. Uh, but I've always interpreted this a few different ways. Because um, uh, I see the hazard suit, and it could mean either that advanced teams have been coming through here and gathering, you know, specimens and coming back, which is one of the things that, that's uh, indicated. The controllers are annoying. You, oh, you played through some Splinter Cell games. What is my favorite? So that's kind of tough for me. Um, Chaos Theory is really, really good. Uh, but I think the first game is actually my favorite. Either the first game or Double Agent. Uh, Double Agent on the Xbox 360. The first game, I think, plays the best, but, like, I'm a little bit biased because that's the one I've played the most, because it's the oldest. I should get 400k subs and way more subs. I don't know if I can eat that many sandwiches, but I appreciate that. Um, I, I appreciate that greatly. Yeah, it's, it's either the first game or it's Double Agent. Uh, the first game is the more comforting for me to play, uh, but Double Agent has my favorite story in the series. Uh, and the whole trust thing between, like, the NSA and the JBA. Like, it's not really a morality meter, but it works like a morality system in other games. I just think that the fact that they base it on trust instead of on, uh, you know some kind of measurement of the rightness or wrongness of your actions is really clever. Oh, I know you meant subscribers. I'm just being a I'm just being a dumbass. Ooh, I finished my coffee and you know what that means? It means it's time to microwave a little bit more coffee. Fantastic. All right. And there we go. Wah! Cool. I've never minded the plat. Like, okay, Zen is really unpopular, but I've kind of always liked Zen because it is so disorienting and because it's a change of pace. I kind of feel like they. <gasps> Damn it! Why'd you kill me, Zen? I just gave you a compliment. Fuck. Oh, God. Okay. Your favorite is Pandora Tomorrow and Chaos Theory. Pandora Tomorrow was a lot of fun. Um, Pandora Tomorrow has, in my opinion, the most memorable scene in Splinter Cell to me. Um, and that is... There's a point in the story where, without any warning... Lambert tells you to kill this person that had just been helping you through um, uh, the streets of... I can't remember what city you're in. I think it's Jerusalem. Uh, Mooney, wait, are you saying you want to play Half-Life or you want to play Splinter Cell? Because Half-Life is on PC and it's also on PS2 if you can find it. Um, Splinter Cell is on, like, everything. But yeah, it's, it's this scene where, where, uh, Lambert tells you out of nowhere to just, like, kill this lady, uh, who's been helping you. And then, if you, like, 
then when Fisher asks him about it, Lambert just refuses to give you more information. It's like one of the most jarring scenes in the game. Um, and uh, I, I think that in terms of like shock moments in spy stories, it, it's a great one. Like Pandora Tomorrow, Pandora Tomorrow gets a lot of credit for its, uh, for PS2, yeah. The PS2 version of Half-Life is really good. In fact, the PS2 version of Half-Life can be played with a mouse and keyboard. It's like one of a small handful of games where you can do that. Um, uh, b -b 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 oh god, where was I? Splinter Cell, that's right, Pandora Tomorrow. Not a quick save now. Um, but yeah, Pandora Tomorrow is really well remembered for its multiplayer, and like, for good reason, Spies vs. Mercs is awesome. Um, but not a lot of people still talk about its single-player game because it was very... Oh, shit! Because it was very similar to the first game's uh, single-player, but I feel like that's a bit unfair because it does really interesting things with the story that the first game kind of didn't try for. Even Valve said they hated how it turned out. See, I, I don't really mind Zen. It, Zen is, Zen is uh, strange, and it's... You have to play it slowly, is the trick. I, I guess there's too much jumping in Zen, but, like... It, I, I'll give it that. But, like, I'm not one of those people that's just like, Ugh! Platforming and shooters, yeah! Because it's just like, I'm, I'm so used to platforming and shooters now. <sighs> Yes, like, in concept, platforming and shooters often is bad. Or at least... But at the same time, they always screw it up in the same ways that, that as a player, you get used to compensating for it, I think. Is your YouTube... Uh, is your intro for YouTube creepy? I have no idea. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I'll try to remember to look it up later. Whoa! Oh, shit! Okay, okay. Fuck. Yeah. That's actually the reason why I bought the PS2 version was to get Decay. I like Decay. Oops. I also like that you don't have to play at co-op. You can just hit the select button and change perspectives to the other player, which is really neat. Whoops. I mean, I'll try to remember. I, I I can't make any promises. My memory is kind of shit. Whoops. Actually, I tell you what. I'm just going to take a screenshot of this part of the conversation. There we go. That way, next time I'm going through photos on my phone, I'll see that we had this conversation, and I'll check it out. There you go. Don't know when that's going to be. But, uh, but soon. That's right, bodies. We're rocking some Half-Life today, man. Probably gonna finish today. Also, I made a mistake and started the game on the difficult setting, and I didn't intend to. So I've had a much harder time than I, uh, than I meant to. But hey, it's fine. All right. It's it, it, this the life in Zen is very kind of fungal, you know. You get a sense that everything is born of spores. But it's it, like, so getting back to what you were saying, Xbox fanboy, this. The areas like this are why I kind of really like Zen. Yeah, see the little... The little butterflies ended up going to the thing and they activated the portal and it's... Like, Zen just follows a logic all its own. I accidentally hit caps lock, that's not what I wanted to do. Teleport me!
Oh! Great! It's the testicle monster! It's because you're becoming a father! Congratulations! Daniel, congratulations, man! Whoa! Baby already born, or you got some, uh, got some time? Ah! Speaking of becoming a father, I gotta, like, dodge the fucking testicle monster for the duration of this fight. <laughs> What's up, Guile? Whoa. By the way, Guile, I'm gonna hit you up later because I, I actually fixed my internet uh, issues, at least temporarily. So if you're free later this evening, we can maybe do something. Camille, how you doing? Why am I not just playing Black Mesa? That's like asking why am I not playing Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes? Black Mesa is fine. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. It's just not actually Half-Life. How did I do that? I am not entirely sure, to be honest. It just... Um, I, I, I went through some of the steps I did the last time. Um, I, I, you know, uh, ran command uh, and did the whole, like, IP config flush DNS thing, and I just, like, gave it time. So it... It worked at that point. No, I, I'm, I'm literally streaming this on the oldest thing I could. I am not using my main computer for this. I, I am running Half-Life on a machine with XP installed, and I'm just capturing the output from that. Because I'm... I, I literally, like, wanted to play Half-Life off of the disc with no patches. Absolutely no patches. So this is Half-Life exactly how it shipped, warts and all. Because that was the whole point, was, was to not play it new, to not play it updated. Because if this game was able to light the world on fire in 1998 when it first dropped, then that must mean the base game, even before the bug fixes, must have still been a masterpiece. And it is. But yeah, no, I, I went out of my way to do this as, like, old school as possible. Also, I'm falling in love with this old machine. Um, because I've gotten a lot of things running on it. Uh, I've gotten... Oh, God, what is it? Uh, uh, time, for, time for the inevitable Star Trek reference. I got Klingon Honor Guard running on it, which bears the distinction of being one of very few M-rated Star Trek games. Uh, you can, you can take the, uh, Klingon sword. You can, okay, here's the thing. Klingon Honor Guard, you can actually... You get to use one of these. You get to use one of these in Klingon Honor Guard. Ah. And it's gory as fuck. You can dismember enemies with it. You ever wanted to cut off a Romulan's fucking head and let that green blood fly all over the place? It's fantastic. Soul Reaver next. I have the Dreamcast version of Soul Reaver. Although if I'm gonna do Legacy of Kane, I'm probably gonna start with Blood Omen. Because that's just that's just what I do. Oh, hello. There is health over here. Let's get that. Crouch jump, don't overshoot it. There we go, my god. Oh, don't fall, goddammit. What's, what's ew? What the fuck is happening here? Sorry. See, I actually feel the, the exact opposite. I feel like Blood Omen 2 was the one that was kind of rough. But the first one was the one that kind of had more meat on its bones. Blood Omen 2 is not a bad game. At all. 
Um, in fact, it's probably the easiest Legacy of Cain game to actually beat. It's just that that's because it's so linear. It's gory, it's fun. It, Blood Omen 2 makes me think of, like... It, it, it makes me think of, like, Jedi Outcast, but, like, vampires and not as hard. Which is not saying bad about the game, it's just, like, it, it doesn't have much meat on its bones for me. Uh, the first game felt more like Zelda. Like, really violent Zelda. I have some sexy hair, why, thank you. Thank you very much. Got all these Gen Zers on TikTok saying that side parts are cancelled. They obviously ain't met this bitch. Ugh. Alright. Let's keep killing the, tec the testicle monster. Oh god. This guy's trying to fight me? Take some balls. It's so stupid. I don't know why you people watch me. I'm the worst. Fuck! Are you nuts? <laughs> oh, crap. What's worse, when your nuts have crabs, or when your crabs have nuts? Stop. I'm telling myself to stop. I'm getting on my own nerves now. Whoa. Can I just go down here? Yes, I can. Oh, shit. Okay. Die, little guy. Both. I need a Discord. I agree, I do need a Discord. I I am on Discord. I just don't have a Discord. I haven't set one up because I am not a very good streamer. Or at least I'm not very good at like the, the nuts and bolts of being one. I don't know. I think I'm okay. If I'm not a good streamer, at least I'm a bad streamer with good hair. I'll take that. Whoa. Haha. No, don't fucking fall. Good. We got the... Straight up. I can feel that this little pullout thing for my keyboard is just going to break soon. Because it's a piece of garbage. Pee pee poo poo check. Christ. You just can't seem to make yourself do it. There's, like, a lot of setup time for certain things. But, uh, I, I think the real key is to just find a reliable configuration that works over and over again. And I realize I say that after doing this weird idiosyncratic setup to capture one single game. Ah. But see, I never practice what I preach. Balls are... <laughs> yes! That, that, oh god. That is basically what is happening with the testicle monster. monster. Yeah, don't worry, guys, he meant to say good streamer with good hair. You're so nice. I appreciate that. Now, where is the monster? I don't know. Let's kill these crabs. Oh, he's still alive, I think? No, he's not. He's dead. No, where the hell is he? Oh, he ran off somewhere. Okay. Well, let's go find him. Let's get the batteries and go find him. Did I get the shot yet? No. No, I haven't. I want I want to badly. I miss life. I don't know if she's here right now. She is very busy. She's been writing a lot lately. Ooh. It's it's amazing to me the stamina that she has for writing. Like, I envy it. 
Uh, envy is the wrong word. En en envy Im implies like uh, there is a negative side to envy, and that's not what I mean. I just mean that I wish that when it came to writing, that I had the energy that she did, because it's kind of. Ooh, I don't know if she's here right now. Death Note be like, oh god. Message deleted. Little, little hard to, yeah. Okay, this, this friggin' thing. Come on! Is it dead yet? Or is it just gonna keep throwing its children at me, damn it? Oh, good God. Come on! Oh! That's not good. Not good. Fuck. Okay, it died. Gonark down. And I'm dead, too. That's terrible timing. We're all here for me. Thank you. I hate that I beat the boss and died. But don't forget... Yeah, no, I'll message you after I after I uh, get off the stream. Whoops. Did it teleport me out there? What happened? Nope, I, I still have to go this way. Dang it. Ah! And I took damage. That's stupid. Okay. Ugh. That all sucked. Come on! Hit him in the mad. Boom! Ow, oh, come on! I hate the little tiny ones. You only see them when the Gonark lays the eggs. They don't show up anywhere else in this game. Shit! No. Oh, great! The friggin' trees are hitting me. That's wonderful. Am I out of ammo? Yes. <gasps> oh, God! Okay, it's dead. Now, don't die this time, Tim. Do your best not to, at least. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. This place needs a fucking exterminator. Whew. Cool. Alright. Oh, crap. I can hear one jumping around. I should just leave it. I should just leave it. This is gonna result in suffering and death. Remind you of Dead Space 2 Swarmers. Yeah. Gordon Freeman made the nut monster explode. Because of course he did. Ah. That's a weird fight. Always grosses me out a bit. <sighs> okay, well now, hopefully this thing is a bit more stable. The trees are very scary. Wow, yeah. Well, it's like, I, I call them trees, but I don't think they're really trees. I think that this whole area that I'm in is some kind of large creature. So I think that they're just part of it. Same with these little lights and even the teleporters. I don't understand how it works. It's cool, though. Ah! 
Okay, that thing's pissing me off. Don't follow me through this teleport, you little... That thing jibbed into bigger pieces than it was. Okay. Oh, crap! Okay, fucking Vortigaunts. Let's, uh... Alright. These guys hit hard. Man. Please die. Thank you. And they killed me. That's what I get. See, I made a mistake when I started this the other day. Oh, come on! Really? How did I miss that? I'm not- I'm not your boy toy. Wait, what? Oh, crap. Oh, you're talking about the little head crab thing. There's a little tiny one that followed me through the damn teleporter. Hey, Trippy, what's up? Okay, this... This guy's pissing me off. Ah. I think I just didn't understand. It happens. Oh. The children are screaming. Crap. Okay. I wish I'd gotten a headshot, like, a minute ago. Die, please. Oh, jeez. Hi. My favorite wrestler? Probably The Undertaker. I, that's kind of a lazy answer, probably, but, you know, I, I like his whole gimmick. And I like his, uh, I guess, stage persona. But see, I don't really know wrestling all that well. Hmm. Oh, God damn it. Wow, he made me miss my shot. Crap. Will you fucking just die? These guys are ruining my fucking shit. That's where I need to go. Damn it! Come on! Take more to the face, punk. That's where I gotta go. Back here. Shit. Please let there be health in here. Good, there is. But of course, there's also bastards in the pool. Come on. Get on out of here. Adult swim. All right. Ooh. I don't like these guys. They're jerks. No, that's mean. The Vortigons are jerks. Shawn Michaels, huh? Ah. Hmm. Looks like I got... Nope! Someone just spawned in. WWE is not that fun anymore. My friend Jordan is really, really into wrestling. Um... He is actually going to wrestling school right now to become a wrestler. Uh, he, he's got like a whole a whole uh, persona and everything. I can't remember the name. I can't remember his name. Damn it. Uh, but he is having a lot of fun doing that. I see him at work like once a week and uh, sometimes he's just like in pain because of the, the crazy stuff that they that they do. Where's the armor at? 
There's not much armor in Zen. Uh, I, I, I would need to find, like, an armor regenerating station or, or batteries or something. And I just haven't found any in a while. I don't even know where I would... F oh, shit. Uh, crap. Okay, I just gotta jump through this. Damn. That room almost ate me. Speaking of eating, it's cookie time. Mm. Hey, what up, Clem? Woo, man. I'm doing real good, Kane. It's good to good to see you. I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing the game today on a really old uh, netbook with XP installed. So I'm wondering, good friend. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I, I like seeing people doing stuff that, uh, that they like. Jordan also makes ga gaming content. Um, he has... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna link his Instagram right here. Um, if you look up on Instagram, 16-bit underscore idiot... Yeah, if you look, if if you search for that on Instagram, um, you'll find uh, you'll find a page uh, with lots of like gaming videos, and he does a lot of retro games, kind of like I do. Um, similar to me, actually, he's kind of a hardware purist. Have I ever played the Saints Row games? No, actually. Uh, I've played Red Faction Armageddon. Which, from what I understand, is basically Saints Row 2 on Mars with, like, destructible objects. <clears throat> All over the place. Oh, man, sorry. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, but no, from, from what I understand, uh, Red Faction... Uh, not Armageddon, sorry. Gorilla. Red Faction Gorilla is basically... Uh, like Saints Row 2, but on Mars with destructible environments. Oh yeah, so I wanted to mention this theory I had. Um, I know that they say that the advanced teams, you know, they, they imply that uh, teams go through the border world, or they go through the portal into the border world and they collect specimens and bring them back. Um, oh, well mine is... Hold on. Oh, God, am I spelling it right? Let me see. I'm actually not sure if I'm spelling my Instagram right. Du -du -du -du. Shit. No, don't upgrade Samsung. I fucking just updated everything. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, okay. It is... Just... The... Tim. That's me on Instagram. At just the Tim. Yes, that is an archer joke. <laughs> um, but yeah, my theory is that uh, this guy is not... Because you see these dead bodies occasionally throughout Zen. But one thing I was thinking is, what if these guys aren't the advanced team? What if... Because this is an alternate dimension, what if there's several different alternate Zens that all converge? And so Gordon Freeman went through, but there were actually several different universes where things occurred differently in Zen. And so Gordon Freeman has died in different places. Soda Bro, what's up, man? So folks, Soda Bro is uh, a streamer. He, he streams frequently on Facebook. Um, and I think tonight he's streaming, uh, Quest 64. 
Um, uh, you guys in the chat know that I stream pretty fr frequently, and that doesn't leave me w much time to watch streams myself. But he's one of one of very few people that I actually watch. Um, he, he's he's fun. He's got a great community there. So, and he's on Facebook. So if you're on Jesus Christ, thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> You just startled the shit out of me with that. Thank you. Ah. Uh, I appreciate that. I'm kind of speechless. Thank you. Um. Well, I'm not speechless. I'm just saying these things over and over again. For the hard work and the setup. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, there we go. Solved a puzzle uh, by shooting at it. I didn't even understand the problem first. It just seemed to seemed to work. Now let's jump up here. No, oh these guys. Ah. Okay. Oh, these guys are rough. But uh, um, yeah, if you search a, it's if you search for Soda Bro Gaming on Facebook, you'll find him. Just follow it on Instagram and TikTok. Why, thank you. Oh, God. So you, if you followed me on TikTok, then that means that you'll see, like, the Duke Nukem memes that I've been making lately. So here's the thing. On Twitter, the actor who plays Duke Nukem, John St. John, has been making these unexpected Duke Nukem quote posts, and they're the funniest thing in the world. Um, this month, he's taking user-submitted suggestions. Um, and, uh, and I'm just really hoping, really hoping that he records the one I suggested. Um, but, uh, one of my favorite ones that he did, love you some Duke Nukem, hell yeah, man, hell yeah. And, and John St. John himself is a, is a great guy, um, and, uh. So, one of my favorite unexpected Duke Nukem quotes that he did uh, on on his Twitter was a recording where he says, um, well, he used to date a girl who had a twin. Uh, oh, shit. I'm gonna fuck it up. I used to date a girl who had a twin, and here's how I would tell them apart. Leanne used to paint her fingernails yellow, and Bob had a cock. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. I've got to find a safe way down. But these float... Wait. I can probably make it to that one. Fuck. But i got to fight my way down. Die, fucker. But yeah, uh, Soda, when, when you and I were talking about uh, Turok... And I said that basically Turok 3 looked like it, it looked like like a like a like a budget like Half-Life clone. Um I'm not sure how apparent it is. I I I certainly hope that this looks better than Turok 3 though. <laughs> it's very It's it's similar in how it's trying to do things. But it's very different in that this is a much, much better game. Got some school tomorrow? All right, Kane, I'll see you later. Whoa! So, Soda, here's the thing. I accidentally started this game on hard mode. Everything looks better than Turok 3. I mean, it, it, everything at least looks like a better, more fun game. I would argue that Turok 3 visually isn't bad. Like, from what I saw in the stream, it did not look like Turok. Like, even a little bit. But, I did think that the graphics were pretty good. I was impressed that the cutscenes had, like, animated eyes and, and mouths and stuff. Like, like, I feel like Turok 3 looks like a very early PS2 game. It doesn't look like an N64 game. Um, but that said, it also just, like, like, literally, where are the fucking dinosaurs? 
fuck! Okay. This platforming section is fucking ass, though. Much as I love this game, this particular part is getting me killed. Oh, cool! Cool! I'm actually stuck here! See? This, this is the kind of... This is what I was talking about when I said I wanted that unpatched experience. <laughs> I just died because my feet got stuck in the ground. They definitely mess it up quite a bit. It, it's, it's like... I just don't understand why... Okay, I'm gonna... Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die again. I'm glad I don't have a death counter here, because Zen would have already thrown that out of whack. Land on it. Go! 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 And... Teleport it! Thank god! Man, um, speaking of good-looking games on the N64, Jet Force Gemini, whoever it was that was suggesting that, I gotta second that, because that is just gorgeous. They nail, nail a near-perfect formula, and then they decide to change it. Yeah, well, so, here's the thing. I think that, I think I would actually blame Half-Life for the fact that that happened in the case of Turok. Because Turok 2... Like, Turok 2 and 3 came out after this game did. But, like, you know, I, I would imagine Turok 2 was probably near completion by the time this game came out. And then this game comes out, and then, like, it just sets the gaming world on fire. So I think they intentionally made Turok 3, like, a Half-Life clone. I, I think that if Half-Life sucked, then Turok 3 would have been good, because they wouldn't have tried to make it like Half-Life. I, I think it would have... I, I, I think that's probably what it is. It's sort of like how... Um, uh, it's, it, it makes me think of what they did to Medal of Honor. Like, Medal of Honor had this really great, unique identity, and it had a formula that works. And then once they saw what Call of Duty was doing... They were like, oh, let's make every Medal of Honor game for the rest of time like Call of Duty. And that turned out to be the biggest problem with Medal of Honor moving forward. And Warfighter just is one of the worst, most derivative things I've ever played. And so I, I, I think that it really just comes down to that. I, I think it comes down to, uh, to um, you know, they they don't look at their own strengths, they just look at what other companies are doing well, and they imitate it badly. Yeah! That doesn't interest the people that were there from the start! Fucking precisely. I curse a lot. <laughs> I swear a lot. Oh, speaking of swearing a lot, you see this guy? Because he's fucked! Alright. Right here, you sort of get a... Oh, damn it. No! Not the bees! Shit. Right here, you sort of get a sense of the uh, hierarchy of wildlife on Zen here. Because the Vortigaunts are down there, doing whatever. These guys are up there. They appear to be oppressing the Vortigaunts. I'm not really sure how it works. Everything ends up being copycats of each other now. Yeah. It's kind of sad. You know, I'm gonna actually use the... I'm gonna use the Tau Cannon on the far away guy. Whoa! Fucking knockback, damn. But that'll spare me some agony here. Not exactly stealth, but if you leave no witnesses. Time to get started. All right, so folks, Soda Bro is about to go live playing Quest 64. Uh, so, if you're interested in that, move on, move on over and check that out. And I'm very glad that you that you uh, checked this out. I uh, I uh, I appreciate your interest very greatly, and thank you for thank you for that uh, donation. Thank you for supporting and. Um, and I, I meant what I said, like, you, you run a great stream, and I, I don't generally watch streams because I have difficulty finding the time, but, like, I really enjoy yours. 
So, check them out, folks. Soda Bro Gaming on Facebook. Ooh. Let's see. I catch him playing a lot of, like, Among Us and Overcooked 2. <laughs> the puns are gold. <laughs> the, so, these, these poor guys watching my stream, they have to put up with that stuff out loud at a moment's notice. <laughs> but thank you very much. Thank you for encouraging my worst habit. Oh, oh, that's not true. That's that's the cocaine. I mean, no, I'm kidding. Ah, oh. this stream's off to a fun start. <laughs> yes, Camille, you are golden. Super golden. Oh shit. Oh no. Ah. I'm amazed that I didn't get hurt worse in that fight. Yeah, we got two bodies here. This is sto sort of feeding my uh, extra-dimensional Gordon Freeman theory. Or at least I think that that theory is more interesting than these are just advanced teams that have gone in. The first child in here? Like, our, like the youngest viewer? I don't think that's true, actually. I don't think that's exactly true. I think, um... I can't remember how old Moonlight is. I'm not sure it really matters. But, uh, according to my YouTube analytics, I, I tend to get... Most of my viewership is actually, like, people in their, um, from their mid-twenties to mid-thirties. But a lot of the people that engage in chat are probably are probably teenagers. Thirteen years is pretty young. I'm pretty sure that that's that's the youngest you can be and and uh, actually be allowed to have a YouTube account. So, whoops. I think that that's the I think that that's the minimum age requirement. I believe that that's correct. Ah! Fuck. Come on. Oh, you fucker. There we go. Eat it. More coffee. Oh, yeah. You had a YouTube account when you were seven years? Ooh. Maybe you don't want to be saying incriminating stuff. Whoops. Hashtag not legal advice. But yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I, uh, I, I, I had my first, I had my YouTube account, uh, when I was 17, I think. That's at least when I first posted. I think I was either 16 or 17 when I got, when I first got my account. You're going to play sis, uh, Roblox with your, uh, with your brother and sister? That's awesome. And you're happy to see your dog again. What kind of dog do you have? There we go. Oh, shit! Oh! Screw this! Nope, I don't want to be here. That is a, that is a big bad guy. Oh, this is like one of the only places in the game where you see a barnacle and in its natural habitat. 
Your dog bites you and takes care of you. Aww. You're 31, you're still trying to figure out the newer tech. Yeah. I mean, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. What I run into is that, like, conceptually, I don't really have much difficulty understanding the devices that I use. But the interfaces are always fucking me up. Because nothing, like, controls the same as it did even a few years ago. And sometimes they'll, like, do a software update on something that I constantly use that ends up changing the whole UI. Um, like fucking, uh, my phone here. I, I have a, I have a Galaxy S10 here, which at this point is almost two years old, I think. Um, okay. Sorry. Wi-Fi went down for a second. Looks like it's still having a little trouble here. Is it gonna, is it gonna start chilling out? Yeah, it is. Okay. Sorry about that. Mini Black Schnauzer, he's one year old. That's adorable. But yeah, DB, what I was saying about um, being 31 and trying to figure out new tech is, uh, like, uh, like uh, I had gotten used to the UI on my phone, on my Galaxy S10, and then they update, they update the operating system, like, a few days ago. And everything's different now. A lot of my apps don't work. My calculator app, for fuck's sake, didn't work after the update. You're watching on your PS4 and chatting with your phone. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Probably a pain in the ass to chat on uh, PS4. Oh, crap. I... Th oh, man. Okay. Um... Yeah, that'll that'll make him move. I hope. I hope that that lures the big guy away. Oh no, he's gonna try to attack me from over here. Maybe. Well, you know, whatever. Hold on. Come here, fool! Oh wow, those things hit hard. Okay. Shit! Cyberpunk moment, yeah. I'll bet I can outrun this big guy, though. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna run this way. I don't need to deal with him. Ooh, hello. Snarks! in their natural habitat. Awesome. Whoa, shit. Okay. You have a tablet, but you use that for drawing. You wanna know something funny? I have... Uh, I have... I have a tablet, but it's it doesn't have a screen, it's just a tablet. Uh, does anybody remember the PlayStation U draw? Cooper's in the Cyberpunk City right now, yeah. Um, does anybody remember the PlayStation U draw? Because I actually use the tablet, but there's drivers you can download for your PC that let you use it as a drawing tablet on your PC. Which, I ended up buying my, my U draw tablet used, but it was unopened. So, sorry, I, I bought it second-hand, but it was unopened, and it's a functional drawing tablet, and I use it all the time when I'm making thumbnail images. So it ended up being, like, I think a total of, like, $5 spent. <laughs> and I've never played the game that it's bundled with, I just use the tablet for, for, you, for using... PlayStation U draw, what the crap. Yeah, no, I I use that. I use that on my PC as a drawing tablet, because it works. Ah fuck. It's like the only thing it's good for. Cause the U draw flopped. 
but the device itself is actually, like, not shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. This is making me a little nervous. I don't like this guy. Shit. Alright, let's piss him off. Let's see if I can... Am I able to... No, I can't do the grenade jump. You remember that from years ago. Oh, it's one you never heard of? It was just like a novelty game uh, for... for um, PlayStation 3. Looking at it, it kind of makes me think of Scribblenauts. Sort of. Like, not really. I'm not really sure what kind of game it's supposed to be. But it's supposed to be art-focused, and... Sure, I guess. Whoa! Here we go. Yeah. Now let's... Damn it! These things! They're frickin' killing me. Fuck! Okay, good, I made it. Jesus. Can I go up here? I have no idea. Let's see. Hold on. Oh! Uh, no. <laughs> That's out of bounds, apparently. Well, he was easy to kill. Nobody has friends. Friends that shoot bees. Goodbye, sir. You are dead. Whoa! Fantastic. This one! That, the voice in this one creeps me out, because this is the, the first one that I ever heard clearly. And what he's saying is, alone, like you, alone, like you, alone. So whatever that alien intelligence is, it's trying to communicate with Gordon at this point. It's creepy as fuck. But yeah, here's where we start to see, like... Like, this was clearly whatever that piston thing is in the ground. So we're starting to see functional stuff here. Signs of industry. Remember when the Wii was good. Ah, the Wii. That system that I bought and then barely ever used. I still have it. Um... I fired it up a couple weeks ago to, like, play a little bit of Red Steel. I actually like Red Steel. The first one. The one nobody likes. Don't tell anybody. Hey, Vortigaunt! Well, they see me, but they're not doing anything. Are they gonna start attacking me now? I think they are. I probably should have left them alone. So I just realized the one was leaving me alone, and I think the other... I think in this area, they don't attack you. Unless you start attacking first. Yeah! Oh, crap. Yeah, I definitely should have not opened fire. I fucked that up, because they, they won't attack you in this area unless you attack them first. I screwed that one up real quick. It's something weird or funny when played forward. Yeah! Shit. Like in Doom 2, you, you begin the uh, last level...
Yeah. Ugh, it's creepy. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna not shoot these guys because they're not gonna hurt me if I don't. See right there, he saw me and he raised his arms. Like he's trying to say, don't kill me. And I think the Vortigaunts here won't bother you. And they're sort of they they're they're working on this stuff. But I think the suggestion is that they, they have to. They're being forced to do this. Which kind of makes you think about all the Vortigaunts you've killed in the game so far. Bananas are good for dogs? I didn't know that. I like bananas. See, they're looking at me. They're not doing anything. Yeah. I'm gonna stand in here and, uh, heal myself. The Vortigaunts... ...have been enslaved. Evil creatures have forced them to do their bidding. Is this thing coming back down? Come on. Yeah, there it is. Monkey. Yeah, you go higher, and I think one of the... One of the other aliens sees you. Oh! Sh shit. Sorry, I almost died. Excuse me, Vortigaunt. The Regenerator's weird breathing used to be friggin' scary in Resident Evil 4. I have seen those things. I've never beaten Resident Evil 4, but I have seen the Regenerators, and I agree with you. They're terrifying. One sound that always freaks me out is, like, the sound of, um... Oh, God. Just the sound of people breathing in Condemned Criminal Origins when they get close to you. Because if you can hear them breathing, then that means they've snuck up on you. That, that game... That game freaks me out. I love Condemned, but just like, man. Alright, so that one's gonna attack me. What the hell? Oh, okay. You jerk! What?! That was weird. All right, well, he's dead. I'm gonna check out the rest of this room. This looks promising. I can't tell if that's health or not. You! I wouldn't shoot you! Or I wouldn't have to shoot you if you weren't shooting at me. Shit! Well, that's what's in those. A big bad guy full of bees. That's not good. I hate it when the bad guys are full of bees. Just trying to get through this place and friggin' like body armor Candyman shows up to wreck my shit. Oh, that'll hurt me. Okay, never mind. That's not what I want. Ooh! Okay, I'm a. I hear health somewhere. So I'm gonna keep checking these areas out. Yeah, fuck, okay. Dang. Come on, get closer, fool. <gasps> Alright. You're dead, buddy. D-E-D -E -D dead. Look at this monkey, good lord. That font doesn't show up on the phone. How did you do that font? Ah, you bastard. I hate those guys. 
I don't like people who kill me. That is my least favorite thing for a person to do. Fuckers. Oh, you're on a computer. Well, I mean, yes, that is an answer. But, like, on your computer, how do you do that? Because I'm also on a computer, I don't know how to do that. Also, what were you saying, D.B. Cooper, about not understanding technology? Here's an example from me. I don't know how the hell Camille did that. Ah! Ah, oh, come on. <gasps> the ranged attack on these guys. They're really good at causing me problems. Okay, let's scope him. Please die. Thank you. Whoa! Shit. Well, he's gone. Oh, there's... There's a place down there I can hide, I think. Damn. Man! Oh, I wish they would stop. I had just enough bullets to handle that situation. By the way, the Magnum fucking rules. Probably the best gun in the game. Ooh! You don't get enough ammo to, like, main it, but damn. Fuck! Oh, oh, okay. You fucker! He's making it through and it's pissing me off. Make Big Head Man pay. Exactly! How you doing, Alex? Whoa! Fucking space baby! Pop his brain cherry. Yes. Ah, oh, come on! By the way, I know that in this section, or at least in part of this section, the Vortigons won't attack you, and that's how you find out that they're like a slave race, but like, these guys, I went through the last area without shooting any of them, and then I wound, wind up in this room, and they start shooting at me, so... I've just gone murderous. Fuck. Take that. Fuck. Yeah, that got him. And where's his friend? I'm pretty close. Oh, cool. Elevator fucking killed me. Good ol' unpatched half-life. There we go. Whoa! Yeah, I hear the guy now. Alright. Oh! Damn it! He hit me with a big one. Fuck. Okay. That's... That's where I can get more, right? Damn. I'm just gonna hang out in here for a second. I can't see them, but they're somewhere nearby. Ah. I'll just go over here and drink out of this fire hydrant for a second. <laughs> or toilet. Are we ready to move on? We are ready to move on. 
Also, Alex, I did fix uh, my internet problems for now, so... Although I know the boys are all playing Valheim now, judging by what you said. What is Valheim? I truly don't know. Oh, fuck. Alright. Please die. Take that, big brain. Congratulations. Thank you. Y you're our winner. Woo! Cool. What game am I planning on playing after I beat this? Ah, uh, there's a few that are kind of floating around in my mind there. Um... I do know that next up, I, I do know that in, I'm, I'm planning on playing um, Opposing Force very soon, um, but I'm not sure what the next, like, thing I'm gonna do is. I'm still in the middle of Doom 2, so there's gonna be more Doom 2. I'm kind of feeling like doing No One Lives Forever. Um, I know that I, whoa, I, I know that, like, I, I fired that one up the other day after I got to Zen, just sort of as a, as a closer, but like, man, I love No One Lives Forever. That's a, that's a game I wish more people played. Because like, I mean, I, I, I mean this sincerely, I think No One Lives Forever is every inch as good as Half-Life. It came out in 2000, so like it was it was between it was between Half Life and Halo, um, and uh, gameplay wise, No One Lives Forever takes more inspiration from GoldenEye, um, but uh, it's God, it's a good fucking game. I, I don't see that any message got deleted. Although, if you're talking about the message that's in the funny font, if you're looking at it on a different device, it didn't show up on, I think, the public chat. I think it only showed up on, like, the control window chat. It, I think it got automatically filtered out by YouTube. It, it does that for certain keywords as well. So... I don't think anybody actually deleted it. I think that the font you used just got filtered out. <laughs> Alex did it. He deleted everything. Tim is cool. Well, thank you for saying that. It It is... It is apparently not visible in public chat, because I could only read that in the control window. Um... Delete Meister is such a great... Such a great... Um... Oh! You're getting crowbarred, buddy. Hey! He actually hit me. That sucks. Oh, shit. Uh, fuck. Die, please. I am trying really hard not to, like, let stray energy shots hit these shells, because I know that they spawn big guys. Fuck. Stop it! You'll unleash the Kraken! Fuck. Stupid homing missile thing. Cooler than a popsicle on a cold day in winter. Now there's some praise I don't deserve, but thank you. I appreciate that greatly. Ooh -ha. Oh, for a second I thought there was another one up there, but nope, it's just a body. <laughs> oh, I'll take that.
Yeah, these areas make me think of uh, in Duke Nukem 3D uh, when you get to the second episode, Lunar Apocalypse, and there's like the alien hive looking levels. This looks a lot like that. How do I... I can't jump high enough to get in there. Ah, I'm gonna have to open one, I think. I really don't want to. Yeah, I knew I didn't want to. Come here, B-Man. Fuck. Tau Cannon, I think. Frick you! Frick you, what am I, 12? Shit. Is he dead? No, he ain't. Now he's dead. Shit! Oh, you fuck. Alright. Nope, that's not the gun I want. Okay, that worked. Oh, I hate that homing ball. Oh, you're still alive. What the fuck? Ah! Glad I went like a minute without dying, though. Now let's get my health all the way back up. Shishunga. What? I don't even know what that means. I know, I just said it without thinking. I probably just said some kind of horrible curse, for all I know. For all I know. Is a Chinese meme? It's not a racist meme, is it? China's government is trash. But... Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, after 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 what went, went down the other day uh in the chat. I just like I'm leery. Ah. I ask, but I wouldn't think you would do that. So, you know, don't take that the wrong way. of these fuckers are there? Gotta go for a little bit, but you'll try to make it back. Good luck in the game. Everyone in chat, tell someone you know to subscribe to Wikifragger. Thank you very much for saying that, D.B. Cooper. That is very kind. And thank you for being here today. And I hope you have a good whatever it is you're about to do. Have a good nap, take a good shit, <laughs> have a nice dinner, <laughs> whatever it is, hope it's, hope it's, uh, the best. Whoa! Alright. Get him! Have, have a good time. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Huh? 
Oh, fuck. Uh, language. He's watching his language. The language is apparently Japanese. Oh, you. Yeah. Mm. Bastard. It's chips time. It's Cheetos time. Time to snack like a real gamer. Wait, Ho Jose is very bad for... For what? Hold on. This Vortigaunt is stuck. Look at him fucking go. Oh my gosh. Whoa! What is going on with this man? Yeah, see, this is... I am never playing the Steam version again. This is too much fun, even though the elevators kill me sometimes. Ah, fuck. He's heating the jig. That was wonderful. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna kill this guy from right here. Yeah, go to hell. Nope, that missed. Fuck. Literally never saw that happen before. Uh, the first time you played this game, did you play it off of a disc, or did you play it on Steam? That is valid, Alex. That is, that is a valid request. Ooh, what's happening here? Let's see... Disc, but updated. Gotcha. That makes sense. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill these Vortigaunts. Wherever they are and whatever they're doing. Ah, you fucker. Okay, he's dead. Oh shit. Fuck! Okay. Okay, this is this is bad. Cause they friggin' wind up and hit scan you. Oh! Damn it! Bullcrap! <sighs> okay. Screw it. I'm gonna clear out this upper area just using... Using pistol, I guess. I feel like I can leave that guy alone, though. You fucker! Oh, cool, I fell. Good job, Tim. Okay, that was a nice shot. If you'll just let me toot my own horn there. Quick save. I killed something, time to quick save. That lazy gamer shit. Oh, hey, where'd you go? You fucker. Oh, 
Mm. Okay. Yeah, this guy's my favorite. I love him. You're dead. Any overlords? Or whatever they're called? Yep. There's a few. Alright. Let's Tau Cannon these punks. Nope. Okay. Fucking shit. Ah! I am desperately trying to avoid getting hit. And desperately sucking at it. There we go. Yeah, uh... You can't post links in the chat if you're not a mod. It's not possible. Like, it's not even showing up on on my screen. Like, YouTube will just automatically filter it out. Hey, what's up, Maslin? Nice to have you back. Check out this crazy jank. He can't even target me. All right, I'm going to go get more health, because I'm hurt. Hmm. Ah, Andy, why, yes, this is. How are you doing, man? He's just dancing. This is amazing. You, you showed up, and I didn't immediately die. Also, I, I want you to see this crazy, like, glitched-out Vortigon. He's alerted to me. He would be attacking, but, like, he's just stuck. He can't... He can't do anything. He's my favorite. <laughs> he gets to live because he's too incompetent to die. Loop Hero. What is Loop Hero? I have never heard of it before. Oh, I love this room. Like, this room is just gorgeous. Fuck! Damn it. Hmm. Okay, don't. Sorry. Oh. Where are they shooting me from? Damn. Okay, I need to get the assault rifle out, because I, for the life of me, can't see where they're shooting me from. It's down there, duh. Come on, you little punk. think you're safe? You think you're safe and alive? But you're dead. You're all just dead already. You don't know it. It's a new idle game. Trying now, now not fully for sure. Okay. Huzzah! Woo! Woo! Okay. I thought I died. That is the closest, maybe, that I've come to dying without dying uh, after you enter the chat, like, ever. This fucking onion-ass room. That did, in fact, scare me. Okay. <laughs> he sounds mad. Oh, I... Okay. I shouldn't go down. It actually looks like that elevator is now permanently stuck. Because if that's not taking him back down, then, uh... 
If I kill him, let's let's save. If I kill him, does that make the elevator go again? Yeah, it does. Okay, his body was making the elevator stuck. Interesting. Of course, I'm just going to leave it like it was. So if I if I went back down there in order to get health, I could actually get back up there. I just have to kill him. You said something about... Die and Google deleted it? In the... Oh, that's so weird. I, I don't think that that's one of my banned words. Jumaga is actually one of the banned words that I put that I set. It should be impossible for for um. It it should be impossible for someone to write that word. I think you could because you're a moderator and and moderators can can type out anything, but uh, you you literally cannot say maga on my stream. Please raise Donger. Whoa, that's so weird. Whoa! Donger equals coffee. Here we go. Wolfenstein 2 mug. Oh, shit. Oh! Hey! Oh, that's beautiful. I finally died. First time, first time I've died since Andy showed up. Cheers. Ah, rest in peace. Yeah. Now I got, I, I got my full suite of nerd mugs here at the moment. So I got the, I got the Wolfenstein mug. I got the uh, Star Wars mug. And of course. Gotta have, let me tilt it, the Wookiee Frag- oh, wait, oh, wait, there we go. Damn it, am I doing this wrong? I am doing this wrong. Yeah, the Wookiee Frags Alien Scum Mug. Get yours at WookieeFragger.com! Wah. Ah, fuck. I need to start doing more on that actual site. Shit. There we go. So where the hell do I go, though? I've been up here. Doesn't seem to be anything up here. What am I missing? Uh... No, I think that this... this was an entirely optional side room. I think that there's more to do upstairs now that I think about it. Let's go down here. Each one of these is just going to have, like, enemies in it. Probably. Ah! Where'd he go? Oh, there he fucking is. I hate these guys. Yeah, I fucking see you. Oh, you dick. Put a couple pellets in the brain. Yeah, it's, it's right about here that I start to feel like I'm... Missing something? Is there another, like, way out on the side? This is such a creepy room, though. Oh, 
fine, I'll break this open. It's just gonna be one of these dicks. Shooting bees at me like an asshole. Ah! Hmm. No, I think... I think the direction I need to go is up. Yeah, dur. Well, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna go down. I'll get a little more health. I'll kill my little... My little... Oh, it sounded like the elevator just crushed him anyway. Let me see. Actually, I think it's worth going back and saving to see that. Or back and loading. Yeah, let's see. Wasn't he gonna die? Come on. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Death really is inevitable. Ah. See, I like that the game is fair about it. The game might kill me with random sticky elevator bullshit, but it'll kill the enemies too. So I'm glad it's not just me. Oh god damn it. Really? Ah, uh, speak of the devil. Alright, oh, fuck you. Ooh. Okay. Yep, nope. Dead. Fucking dead. It's like I need to just make sure that I'm jumping when I hit the top of that thing. Okay. I wonder how well this game would have reviewed on release if there was no quick save. I wonder how different that would have been. Because the... the Sticky elevators definitely would have been a much more serious problem if they sent you, like, all the way back to level checkpoints or area checkpoints. Also, I like how that baked-in shadow just fucking... God damn! Every single one of these things! I like how that baked-in shadow just turns... Motherfucker! Damn it! Every single time. Whoa. Like, the elevators are about as deadly as the fucking doors in Sin. You motherfucker. Ah. You know what? I'm just gonna heal. And then run. I don't need this shit. There we go. Eat it. Fuck. Oh boy, okay. Just take me up. Thank you. Alright. Oh, cool. I'm fucking dead anyway. God damn it! This is so bullshit. Fuck. I probably can't even kill them fast enough. I hope you get stuck up there and die. Fuck. Damn it. 
All right, no, nope, we're good. Fucking game. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, God. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Is this a, was that a terrible place to save? Probably. Nope, I'm good. And I made it through. Thank God. Ah. I am the last, he says. Here we are. I love this shit. Also, that kind of looks like the Starbreeze logo to me. But, that, like, what an evil fucking room. I, I know that Zen is the most heavily criticized part of this game, but I would love to see Half-Life games in the future revisiting other dimensions. Here we go, indeed. Let's see how well this goes. That is not anything that I ever want to hear say my name. Now, let's destroy these. Ah, what the fuck? Shit. What the hell did he do to me? You fucker. Not impressed with your fucking little babies shooting their plasma and crap at me. Fuck you. This guy says he's the last, and yet there's clearly more of them. Well, maybe they're not really anything like him, though. Destroy the almighty fetus. Yes! It's time to abort your whole friggin' species. Oh. Yeah, I can't make that. Okay. Yeah, their their brains look just like the fucking they look just like the nylon. I don't know if they're the same species, but they're fucking similar. Oh fuck. Ah. But the Nihilinth also looks stitched together, so he might be like a creation of some kind. Who knows? Who really knows? The answer is the people who made this fucking game. And even they might just be winging it. Hey, fucking up jumps. Okay, let me up. Fuckers. All right. Dick. I don't care if that seems excessive. I hate those guys. All right. The next platforms are a little hard to see. That G-Man is actually an island. Hmm. Maybe. He says he plucked Alex Vance from Black Mesa. And if the portal to Black Mesa was created in part by the intense concentration of a highly intelligent being, 
or whatever it was, um, then I could see if the G-Man was a Nylanth, that would explain why he was able to rescue Alex Vance. He could have actually created a portal, if he were a Nylanth, to her. He could have teleported her out of danger. Maybe this Nylanth never died. No, no, that's that's different. That would mean that the the G-Man in this game uh, is at war with this Nylanth. That would be the Battle of the Nylanths. I'm not sure I agree with that theory, but like I I can also see where they're coming from. It's it's an interesting speculation. I like that. All right. Ugh. I need to destroy these. What? Okay, there goes one. Fuck your crystals. Yeah, the, the missile trail is not showing. Lack of patches is really starting to show its ass. Well, now I think it's a matter of lowering his health, isn't it? Oh, fuck you. Don't you hit me with that shit. Crap. Fuck that. Glue on gun. Shit. That's what I gotta do. Get his fucking health down. No! No, he's gonna fucking hit me with the goddamn thing. Fuck you! Oh, I hate him. Damn it. Yeah, real smug asshole. Fuck you. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. You are man, he is not man, which could mean only one guy. Yeah. This fucking dickweed. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, well... I'm not surviving this. Damn it! Crap. I really don't think I'm gonna be making this. What the fuck was that? <gasps> That's bad. That's bad! Fuck that! Oh, yeah, you, hey, your brain is open, dumbass! I was hoping the bees would home in on his brain. Ah, that's what I get for hoping, though. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Oh, I'm fucked. No, I'm not in. I'm fucked. Damn it. It's okay. I can do this. Fucking space baby. You're fucking dead. Glue on gun! Back at it. Oh shit. Yeah. No. No! Okay, I fucking could have avoided that.
All right. These guys, I gotta just play by their rules here. Shit! Oh my god, okay. Fuck. Oh god, okay. Fucking run, dude. Brutal. Hmm. Hate you so much. Giant fucking space baby. I don't even know how to describe it. Just burning fucking hatred. Everything you are. Everything you are is just a freaky space baby. That's fine. Oh god. No, no. Ah, shit, Tim. You can never know the truth. Yeah, I know this one. This one's this one's freaky. Okay. Ah, oh, goddamn. Fuck! Where's the other one? There he fucking is. Fuck you. If I don't kill him this time, I'll be fucking pissed. Dickhole. Jesus. All right. You are man. Hunter choppers can fit so many bombs in them. Is it teleportation? Or is it that they are eggs? Okay, I'll hear you out. I'll hear you out. I want to know. Okay, we just got to ride this thing up. Oh, I do have some more ammo for the gluon gun. Okay. Maybe that wasn't a complete waste of time. Fuck, though. A mini teleport? Yeah, I know how there is. Think of the combine, do the same thing, but with, like, ammo? Because that makes sense. I wouldn't rule that out. And I wouldn't rule out most theories when it comes to Half-Life, just because they leave a lot open to interpretation. Fuck. I've got to get up above him. The fucking dick! Oh wait, hold on. Home in, sucker. God, I hate you. Ugh. Fuck. Ooh. Nope. Okay, got him. How many more are there? Okay. Okay. I like leading shots. <laughs> Potato, how you doing, man? Do, 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 do. Okay. Had given the Combine instructions for smaller teleporters because they were shown to work. Oh! Oh, that's a good theory. 
Oh, that'd be jacked up if that's the reason why. Fuck. I, I always felt like they were really quick to forgive Mossman. But it's like, the shit she was doing was getting people killed. Oh. Hoo hoo, okay. All right. Uh, and of course I got killed. Son of a gun. Eh. It's like, you can see he's sitting on, like, some kind of weird friggin' device. Damn it! Oh, come on! It's this shit! It's this shit that drives me nuts. Right here is where, like, all the criticisms people make of, of Zen, I understand. Rather than just one large explosion? Uh, vaguely, yeah. Yeah, so that would be the different bombs... Would that be the different bombs going off at once, or what would that be? Oh! Fucking shit! I swear to God! They're still being teleported in as it's crashing down. That's possible. There was one time I was playing the game, and I defeated the Hunter Chopper. But then, um, when it exploded, because I was on foot, it exploded, and the front end of it crashed into me and killed me. I was really pissed. Oh, that's actually an amazing place for that dude to have died. Where is the body? Yeah, look at that shit. It looks like he got skewered. That's funny. And where's the Vortigaunt? There he is. Fuck you. Fuck me. Please let me up, you son of a gun! Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. It's, it's not fucking high enough! Jesus! This is driving me crazy. All I have to do is get above this motherfucker! Please, and fucking thank you! Jesus! Alright. That was so goddamn annoying. I swear to Christ. This... I hate how... This is how it boils down almost every time I play this game. Is I just start fucking, like, running and... Trying to, like, farm these things for health while dodging his last little, like, pissed dribble attack. 
while he sits there on his big fucking dangly metal Segway. Or whatever that thing is. He looks like a fucking Walmart shopper. Never got to this part. This is, uh, very, very far. Whoa! But yeah. And him, him in his hover chair. And his little weird-ass dangly atrophied legs. And he, his, his stomach is stapled, so he's... I don't know. Something, something weird about this guy. When he says, I am the last, maybe he doesn't mean the last of his species. Maybe he is one of the overseer types, or whatever they're called. But he was, like, modified somehow. Maybe he's, like, the last... of these abominations. I have no idea. There's probably a wiki full of information. God knows what their sources are. Am I done farming for goddamn health yet? Please. Give me the health points, just... thank you. Alright. Oh, fuck you. I'm not platforming all the way back up there. No, sir. Alright. What I might do, though... I might try to rocket up there. Yeah, fuck you, buddy! Ah! Oh no. Takes so long to even get back up here. No thanks. I'm gonna die. Fuck you, game. I died. But maybe that is, however, what I need to do. I need to lure him up. Lure him down. No, I think I got it. I need to lure him lower. Let me the fuck up! Oh man! Throw it at his fucking brain! I mean, he didn't like that, so that's cool. Is there any way to fucking do this better? Nope. Fuck! I'm just trying to shoot into his stupid fucking brain. That's all I really want. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck you. And I got hurt really badly. Die. Don't fucking die. Oh, there he goes. How's that for an end game? Hell yeah. 
Fucking finally, damn. Winner, winner. It's like the last boss is a puzzle, but he's an annoying puzzle. Here we go. Gordon I love this. Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, in the hazard suit, I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. The border world, Zen, is in our control for the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well, I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anticlimax after what you've just survived. Yeah, head to choose. I'm going to show both endings here. First, this is what you get. It's time to choose. If you, uh,. Rebuke his offer. No, sir. Fuck you. I'm sitting down. Well, it looks like we won't be working together. No regrets, Mr. Freeman. He wasn't lying about that unwin unwinnable battle, either. Would have survived it if you hadn't taken away my fucking glue-on gun, you son of a... Declined offer of employment. Okay, let's choose not to die. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. Subject Freeman, status higher, awaiting assignment. Ah, it's good shit. Uh, like I said, I don't hate Zen. I know Zen gets a lot of, uh, a lot of hatred. Um, but I'm fine with Zen. It's the nylon fight that bothers me. Um, I, I am still wishing. Thank you very much. And thank you for coming by, Andy. You have a good one. Um... Yeah, the, the Nihilans fight itself is is kind of anticlimactic. Uh, it's just... It's just... I don't know, it's quick savey and awkward, and the movement is sluggish, and it doesn't feel right. But uh, that music... Man, that is good shit. But yeah, um... The next Half-Life I stream is gonna be... is gonna be opposing force. I'm still wishing that I had uh, started this on medium. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you very much. Ah. Well, let's see. Hmm, what to do now? This thing is still hooked up. I could start. 
over. <laughs> Just for a, a quick little victory lap. Um, I don't know. What do I want to do? There's a, there's a few things that I could do at the moment. Um, now I kind of feel like I kind of feel like uh, dicking around a little bit at the beginning of the game. Just because it's been a while since I started this. This this stream, it, it, playing through this game on stream, it took like two machines and some some weirdness with my internet. So, yeah. Let me make sure I'm playing on fucking medium. I don't want to play this on goddamn difficult again. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated what? train is provided with the reticle. The oh my god. The, the fucking glue on gun. We got a glitch, folks. The time is Shit. 8 47 a.m. Well, that's the weird. Top side temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high. I've never seen that happen. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees Shit. at all times. Unintended effect. I know, right? What a lucky day. This train is I'm wondering... This this is probably going to stay on screen until I get my first weapon. Or it'll never leave. One of those two, I am betting. Ooh. As for right now, I'm nuking my coffee. Area 9. And board a high security train. Bam. To the retinal clearance system. Chuck Joe. You must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Ooh, man. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound. No smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Doesn't apply to me, because I am eating in real life. Inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come Sorry. to a complete halt. Game audio might be a little too loud, platform. actually. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instructions. Yeah, we've already gone through like several loading screens like this. That chopper suggests to me that the HECU was already here. Like they were ready for this. Since we're floating theories today. That was a very fucking cool way to go. Hmm. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 19. I remember when I was 27. I did not have a PhD, I'll tell you that. I like those power loaders. They make me think of aliens.
Yep, I did finish the game, Camille. And then I just started again. I'm probably not going to play through the whole thing, obviously. Just going to dick around for a little bit. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment mm -hmm. in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation... Oh, there he is! is there he is! First sighting, I think. If you feel you have been exposed to radio... Hello, G-Man. ...other hazardous materials in the course of your duties... Creepy. There's so much to see. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Are we playing the PS2 version? No, I'm actually playing the uh, unpatched, unpatched PC version. Um. I didn't pop in the PS2 version. The PS2 is in the other room. Um, Holly's using it right now, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go out there and uh, and and jack it from her while well, while well, it's in use. Oops. Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. I've I've got it set to uh, 640 by 480. I started a new game after the boss fight, um, and uh, the reticle for the gluon gun is still stuck on the screen. But no, I set it to 640 by 480. Um, I could probably set it to like 800 by 600 if I really felt like it. Do I feel like it, though? I don't know. Um, I am not running the game on my gaming PC. I'm running the game on a um, uh, an Asus EPC netbook with Windows XP pre-installed on it. Um, trying to go for something approximating era-appropriate hardware. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to emulate anything. I want to go, I, I want to go, uh, I want to go installed on hardware that natively supports it. Whoops. How's that going to affect our performance? Let's see what happens. There, slightly higher. No, I thought it'd be fun to play this thing in uh, 4x3, unpatched. Fucking... Ugh, excuse me. This machine actually s struggles with the game in certain parts. Not, like, to the point of unplayability, but to the point of, like, it feels like I remember when I first played it. You know? Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Okay. Let's get him in trouble. My God, hey, what that. are you doing? <laughs> Come on, Gordon. You trying to get me into trouble? Yes. I'm also trying to read your emails. Mr. Scientist Man. Away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. <laughs> Suck it. All right. As I expected. Hmm. Hello. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Ah, uh, here we go. Well, this guy got here real quick. This train must be a little faster than mine. SV cheats Impulse 101 and go crazy? What is that, like a... Hold on. Is that like a command line thing? I actually don't know how to do that. But would that let me, like, clip through walls and stuff? Like, what's that do? Are oh, you trying to get me in trouble? Oh, I got Barney in trouble, all right. Bring up the console. I, I, what, I don't even know what key does that. 
Impulse gives me all weapons. Ah, I don't really feel like doing that right now. I'm kind of. This is all within. I'm kind of content to mess around with this, like as it is. But like, if I wanted to go on a rampage, oh, so it's the hold on. Which button is that? Yeah, it should be like right under the tilde key, right? Yeah, that's not bringing it up for me. That's weird. Trying shift, trying control, trying alt. Nope. I can't seem to bring that up. It's no big. Hmm. Ooh, Birdwell Jones. Have to go into options and enable it. Hmm. Let me, oh, dear God. Sorry. I have no idea where that would be. I have no idea where that would be at all. Now, see, it wouldn't be there. You think it's in advanced? See, I just looked there. And there's really no no option for that. That might be one of those things that is in the Steam version. Actually, hold on. What if I use this key? Hold on a second. I just realized I have I have two different keys I could use here. Yeah, no, the the function key with that also doesn't do anything. It's open with a banana. Good lord. Half-Life 2 and Sorcerer, you're going off what you know from Half-Life 2. Yeah, it's... It's also possible that the developer console might not even be enabled in this version. Uh, maybe in subsequent versions, and maybe in the, the Steam version. But it might not be enabled off of this. Oh wait, I didn't even get the suit. What am I doing? It's... I, I don't really know. Like, it strikes me as a little weird if the developer console isn't in this version, but, like, not completely impossible that it wouldn't be. There we go. See if he lets me through. Oh, music's so good. I like never use developer consoles in games. It's just not not a habit I have. Like, nothing against it. It's just normally when I dick around in a game, I like to see what I can get the game to do without breaking the rules, if that makes sense. Here we go. Greetings. Ah, Gordon. 
Here you are. Yes, you you're right. The sample down to the test we boosted the anti mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Bit of a gamble, but Half Life 2 is a fun game to mess around the with, though. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some length to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. He said the thing! He said the thing. Ah, fuck. All right. Down we go. Pardon me. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. You have trauma? That, what do you mean? Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all Never this. mind. Maybe I don't want to know. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. All right. Yeah. I agree. It is cool that they do that. It is very cool that Valve does that. They understand the things that make a community happy, you know? You need something to make you forget about it. Everything seems to be in order. Ow. Alright, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. That was the laziest start I could have done. Doom soundtrack will will do the trick. Doom makes everything better. PTSD. Yeah. Team Fortress Classic. Gotcha. Team Fortress 2. Yeah, Maslin is referring to the uh, to the first one, or at least the first commercial one. Team Fortress began not even as a, a for sale product; it began as a mod for Quake. But that turned into a Half Life mod, which turned into an expansion. All right. There we go. Now, if, if I remember right, if I pull this out, then 
uh, it glitches the game a little bit. I think. Yeah. See, now we have a Vortigaunt in the room. You had a stroke. That's okay. I've never played Day of Defeat. But I've seen it, and it's pretty damn impressive. Oh fuck. Yeah, here we go. All these, all these Tony Todds. Creepy. Ah. Apex Legends and Titanfall are like part of the same universe though. Ah, damn it, that guy's floating now. I made the Vortigaunt float! Overwatch is the way to go. Ooh. If I remember right, if you hang out long enough, this guy actually does revive the guard. I think. Oh no, that guy was crushed. Terrible for him. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Yeah. This is this is the original Half-Life. This is an oldie but goodie. Uh, Maslin. Um, I think that this conversation means that this guy is Eli Vance. Because he says... Eli says that he hasn't seen you since... He sent, since sending Gordon up to the surface to get help after the Resonance Cascade, and this is the first guy that you talk to who says anything of the sort. So I think that that means that this is Eli Vance. At least that's that's how I'm reading into it. Hmm. Where's he going? Oh, he's just fucking leaving, okay. Ah. All right. Let's duck through. I'm gonna get the crowbar and I'm going back for that Vortigaunt. It also means I'm coming for that head crab. Whoa, shit. Oh, this is sick. Boom! Oh, ho, ho. That was nasty! Ooh. The day the Halo 2 glitch reel gets a million views. I feel like that's going to take a very long time. Because it racked up those, like, 900,000 views kind of quickly. But like that last 100,000 views, that video has been has been at like 900,000 views for like years. It's it's that last stretch. I I I I, I have no idea how long it's gonna take to cross a million, but it's gonna be a while. Because I don't think it even gets a thousand views in a year anymore. All right, let's get that fucking Vortigaunt. Also, let's kill these crabs while we're at it. Yeah, die, punk. All 
All right. Woohoo! Shit. Let's go that way. Yeah, see, there's the guard. He's alive. I saved... He, he saved you. Thank you, Mr. Scientist Man. Hi. Oh, we're friends? Then come this way, friend. You can trust me. You'll watch it 25,000 more times. Oh, this rules. Wait. I'll bet I can get him to fight the Vortigaunt for me. Let's do it. Okay, why not? Didn't want to die alone anyway. Yeah. It's about to go down. Hooray! I did see that shot. Thanks, Barney. I love this kind of shit. All right. Floating dead Vortigaunt. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Thank you, Barney. You're a good friend. I'm taking your fucking gun. Thank you. Second? Oh. Okay. Pardon me a second. Eating grapes and apples to calm yourself down. You simply don't have the time to understand them. I understand. I understand, uh... A lot of older games just kind of have a lot going on. Woo, shit, there we go. I love the laser that just, like, cuts a path through everything. Okay. I quick saved. Goodbye, Nihilant Safe. In case of fire, do not use elevators. Okay. Oh no! Did I do that? Sorry, guys! Are they okay? They're okay. There's, that, that skull was already there. <laughs> it's so happy. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I'm not even taking the, like, you know. I'm just dicking around at this point. What the hell are these things? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? They're headcrab zombies. That's... Oh, see, now... Okay. That's right. Since I'm playing on medium, it's doing the target tracking thing. They were screaming of joy. Yeah. Joy, that's it. Is this guy gonna follow me? Come on, man. That's right, since I'm on medium, the target tracking is going on, so the, the gun will follow enemies. I can probably disable it. I'm just gonna let Barney get the kills for me. I <laughs> got another one. Good job, buddy. You missed one. I'm going to tell this guy to hang out right here. Because I'm going to go after... There's, uh, I think... Kasali. Fuck. There we go. Oh, 
All right. That's that's the stuff I wanted. Hello, tragically murdered colleague. Oh no, who did that? Why would they do such a thing? Yeah, we might stand a better chance if we team up. That was an invitation. Come on, man. This way, fuckface. I just want him to, like, fire the shots for me. Thank you. Got him. Where'd the next one go? Yeah, okay. Thank you for your help, Barney. Yeah? You have a bad feeling, huh? Why could that be? <laughs> yeah! You get that head crap! Good job, scientist man! Oh, oh shit. Fuck. Cool. Whack him! Barney's cute. <laughs> this one's dying. Why did I kill him? I wanted his ammo. God, what are you doing? <laughs> oh god, I love this game. Yeah, I know, right? That was so weird. Why did that happen? I'm probably gonna just be randomly killing people now. Imposter check, yes. Die! Fucker! Hmm. I wonder... Is it possible to see that far? Can I kill these zombies before going in the room? That's a good question. If I can get near the corner... Hold on. Ah, come on. I can't really see what's happening out there. Oh well. Ah, come on. This damn thing. Oh. Yeah, there's a head crab right there. Let's kill it. Pretty sure that killed it. Yeah, okay. You fucker. There was another one. There's always another one. Bye! You just got jibbed. Hmm. Hello, zombie! I'm gonna kill you! You're gonna be very dead! You're dead. Dumbass. The monster on the computer was just watching YouTube. Yeah, probably. Hello? Lead the way. <laughs> I love activating him before he has a chance to stand up on his own.
who is responsible for this mess? Thank you, sir. Some crazy man keeps shooting the scientists. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, wait a minute. Can I move these downstairs? No, I can't move these at all. Well, let me see. Yeah, these... That one moves. Ugh, fucking bodies in the way. Come on. Does that not... No, that seems to be as much as it'll... As far as it'll go. That's kind of bullshit. Eh, oh well. Hold on. Break open the door, buddy! Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that was awkward as fuck. And that didn't work at all, so screw it. Handgun time it is. <laughs> the fuck am I doing? It's Barney from Black Mesa. It was! By the way, uh, hello, uh... Hello, MD, uh, Cars. Can I call you Dr. Cars? Can I call you Doctor? Because you got Gordon Freeman in your profile pic. Boom, are you dead? You're dead. Sure, all right. I hope you're having a fun time here. So, uh... I'm actually not playing the Steam version of this. Like, and I don't mean that I'm not playing the Source version, because I'm... Well, I mean, I'm not playing Source version. But, like, uh, the version I'm playing is uh, a, a version 1 install off of an original CD. And I've installed it on an older computer, so I'm capturing the footage on my gaming PC, but I'm playing it on, like, a little a little netbook over here. I'm trying to see if I can show it without fucking everything up. Oh, I hope I don't screw anything up by, uh, by moving this. Oh, dear. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to get it into frame here. But yeah, this is the PC that I'm playing it on. This is an uh, Asus EPC with Windows XP pre-installed on it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm running a VGA cord out of it in uh, dual monitor mode. And I'm just capturing the signal off that. Oops. Ooh. But I wanted to get this thing as close to as close to how it was originally released as possible. Most people weren't playing on netbooks, but like operating system wise it's like the same. Just peeks and I headshotted him right. Yeah. APC, like Armored Personnel Carrier. No, uh, EPC, like three E's in a row. It, it, it was a line of netbooks that uh, Asus uh, was doing for a while. Um, uh, it's, like the, it's like the size of a Chromebook, except a little thicker, uh, and you can do more with it. And, so this is like a Chromebook, but not trash, basically, is what I'm saying. Thought I had a big PC. Um, I don't have a I don't have a desktop, but I use I'm using two PCs right now. There's this one, which is the one that I'm capturing footage from, or sorry, the the one that I'm streaming with, and this is a 
computer that I use most of the time, but then the one I just showed you is one that I specifically use for older games. Combine a personal computer, yeah. So right now I'm using two computers for this stream. I'm using the old one right over here to play the game on, and I'm using the new one to stream it. Oops. But no, my, my normal PC, this one, um, can actually... I mean, it's not amazing or anything, but, like, it can run cyber... <sighs> Sorry, took took me a second to, uh... Took me a second to use that. I have a computer and a laptop. No, I mean, I'm using two laptops. I'm, I am using... I'm using the, the terms computer and laptop interchangeably because laptops are mobile computers. Um, but both of the computers I'm using are laptops. Yeah, Maslin, it shot itself on my end, too. It, it disconnected for a second, but it's back now. It's back now. I love when they hit the water, they just jib. Woo! Not that bad. Yeah. Well, thank you. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that happen before. Huh. That seemed to send him flying, didn't it? Fuck. All right. Fuck! Camille, so, like I was saying, I use two computers, right? I use an old one to play old games, and then I use this one to play new games. This is... This computer right here that you're looking at me out of, this is the one that can run Doom Eternal. I also have my capture card connected to it. The old one that I'm playing Half-Life on right now could not run Doom Eternal in a million years. But this one, the one I normally use, that's the one. Yeah, exactly. See, now, now you get it. There you go. There you go. Cyberpunk. Indeed. I, I would absolutely not blame uh, Doctor if Doctor tuned out while the stream crashed. Hey, a floppy disk. Neat. Oh, he's still here. Dark Interval. No, I've never heard of Dark Interval. I, I know that there was that chapter in the game. I think Dark Interval is where you get the upgraded um, gravity gun. But what's the mod do? Cyberpunk is always the answer. See, medium is like the difficulty that this game feels like it's balanced for. Hmm. Boom! Throw that across and throw that across and jump! Aha! I made it! Physics! Oh, it's in the style of the beta. Oh, that's interesting. That sounds fascinating. I'd love to check that out. I downloaded a Half-Life 2 mod the other day called, um... Snowdrop Escape, but I haven't had a chance to play it yet. And the new one can run, uh... Well, so I kind of doubt that the old one could run Team Fortress 2. Um, because it struggles with... It, it struggles with games past a certain point. Like, I know that this could... I know that it came out in 2007, but it's a netbook circa 2007. So, like, it's still... You know... Like, yes, I play a lot of games on it, but it was not meant for gaming. Like... Crisis came out in 2007. There's no way that this little guy could run Crisis in a million fucking years. 
Um, even this computer struggles with Crisis at times, just because Crisis was like not well optimized. But mostly, Crisis runs fine on on the on my gaming PC, my gaming laptop. Used real unused models from the Half-Life 2 beta. That is so fucking awesome. Second part of around five hours. That's so neat. But yeah, uh, the last several streams that I've done, though, I've been using the, the netbook to play games on. Uh, Maslin was here when I was streaming, when I, like, popped in No One Lives Forever for a few minutes. Um, just because I love that game. Uh. Whoa. I feel like this, I feel like the netbook excels at running games from, like, the late 90s and, and early 2000s. Dr. Kaleino's escape, uh, escape from, uh, City 17, the canals. Okay. Oh, so they're still releasing parts of it. Fucking forever ago. If I'd known it was you, I'd have let you in. Everyone's heading for the service. But I think they're... Because I guess it was nine when this game came out. I didn't play it until a few years afterwards. Do you still say there's nothing to chaos theory? Ah. Uh. Oh, I killed them already. Whoa! Die. Let's go this way. Hmm. Let's. <laughs> That's a good jump scare. I like how I like how when he hits the wall here. The hand, the the hands bleed, and it makes sense because he just broke glass onto his hands. Like the zombie goes through a whole thing, and he just throws a hissy fit right before you kill him. You think both will have the depot and the air exchange? Okay. Isn't one exact... It's a mishmash of multiple concepts ideas. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I mean, it's... It's a work in progress, and it wasn't... The the leak was never, in, was never meant to happen. They just kind of pivoted on it as best they could. Ah, you fuckers. There we go. Hi, Barney. Hey, watch out. You got a you got a dude. Hey, I was about to say, don't you fucking kill him. Is the door going to jib it? Ah, damn. What is that smell? The other day I killed a zombie when it was much closer to the door, so the door opened and it just jibbed the corpse. It was cool. Sadly, didn't happen today. Ah, fuck. Oh. Okay. Cool. Well, that worked out. <laughs> this game cracks me up. Ugh. Oh. Really love the green orange sky in one of the beta storylines. I'll have to check that out. I don't know who Riley is. I don't know most of what's going on. I'm just gonna bring this guy with me, though. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. Yes. Well, I need you to follow me so that you can like use your ammo before I use mine, 
And also so that when you die, I can take your gun. You go on without me. How about you walk towards the wall, buddy? Thank you. Good Barney! Hmm. Ah! There we go. Lights out. Hey Barney, you got this? Can can you handle this for me, buddy? Good boy. What? Hey, don't stop. God damn it. Well, he fired one shot, so that was kind of useful. You! Useless motherfucker. You're supposed to spare me! Not, uh... God, he's so dumb. Raising the bar will have Lost Coast. That'd be cool. Or we'll have The Coast, sorry. Not Lost Coast. I do like Lost Coast. But we're not talking about that. <sighs> okay. Whoa! Alright, let's open this. You, do, do my fighting for me, Barney. Got one. Yes. Good job. He's so helpful. Alright. Why isn't he walking through the door? What's wrong with him? Oh. He's confused. Come here, Barn. You wait right here, bud. See you later. Oh, the door won't fucking open. That's weird. Yes, come this way, fool. That way. Sometimes they just need a little push. Yeah, okay. I'll stay here and guard this area. Yeah, you do that. You stay here and guard this area. Sir. Alright. Uh, okay. Nah, he fucking killed that scientist, didn't he? No, I don't think he did. Scientist made it. That never happens. What a delightful day for science. Hmm. Well, there goes our grant money. <clears throat> all this shit's happening here, and all you're thinking about is the goddamn budget? Come on, man. You're one of three NPC models copied and pasted throughout the game. You're evidence of a budget cut. Whoa. All right, let's bring him with. Yeah, it's very cool. Bridge is definitely transmitting organic matter. Glad to oblige a fellow scientist. Fucking roasted him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. 
Maslin, for some reason, it filtered that comment, so it didn't show up publicly, but I just read that, and uh, thank you for that. Barney! Come on, man! Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. <sighs> Where'd he go? Is he still here? No, he's not. I have no idea where the damn scientist went. Oh, he's right there, freaking out? Okay, buddy. With my brains and your brawn, we'll make an excellent team. You trying to say shit about my brains? Boy! Don't push me, man. Do you know who ate all the donuts? That's a good point. They got funny priorities. This is as far as I go. Ugh. Look like I can move those. Roger that. Let's run like hell. Indeed, sir. Oh shit. Hmm. It's so windy right now, damn. Excuse me, Barney. Barney? Yeah. Uh, Fucking Christ, Barney. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. Oh shit. Fight for me. He was brave. He was the best of us. Sending thoughts and prayers. Taking his ammo though. Actually, the Vortigaunts are summoning some kind of spiritual psychic energy and using it as weapons, so I guess they were sending thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Looks how look at how useful that was. And then they fucking heal Alex in uh, episode two. No, Vortigaunts, they, when they send thoughts and prayers, it does one thing or the other. It's actually useful. Unlike useless fucking human beings. Ugh. Super brave. Yeah. Ah, shit. Damn thing. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck! Well. I like how he's just like, he's just going right fucking past. Like, I'm not dealing with this shit. Alex was more annoying than Barney Calhoun. I, I wouldn't say any of the characters really bothered me. I, f I do feel like, um... I feel like in Half-Life 2 Episode 1, they kind of like... Really... We're trying too hard to show off uh, the the AI, like to the point where it was distracting. Although the bits inside the hospital were really fucking cool. Six sticks to you like a moth to a lamp. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, pretty accurate. This guy. It appears the containment system has completely failed. I couldn't understand what this guy's problem was uh, so sure I when I was streaming this a while ago. What if the world finds out what we were doing? But he just died out of nowhere. It was in one of the earlier streams on hard mode. I couldn't explain why it happened. Interesting. Just look at that. Not a fan of Dr. Magnuson. 
Yeah, as a character, yeah, me, me neither. Me neither. I mean, like, I get that he's supposed to be unlikable, but w the part that I can't swallow is, like, I don't believe that he and Gordon Freeman have ever met. Like, that's the part, you know, that just doesn't seem to sit with me. That That's asking me to believe too much. No one mentions no one mentions him for like all of Half Life Two, and then all of Episode One, and then all of a sudden he shows up in Episode Two, and everyone acts like we've all known each other for years. Like, oh, silly old Doctor Magnus, and like, who the fuck is this guy? And is he supposed to be one of the Einstein-looking models? Like, I guess. I did like, I know that this has nothing to do with Magnuson as a character, obviously, but I did really like the climactic, like, car strider battle at the end of episode two. Like, that was pretty awesome. Saw Barney leaving on the train. God, I don't remember that. Somehow I don't remember that. You are from the anomalous I just overheard the secure access transmission. Soldiers have arrived and they're coming to rescue us. Fascinating. <laughs> Never suspected. Let's go. Anyway. Hold on. Neat. Is he gonna stay there? Yes he is. You're going to have to leave me here, Gordon. Oh, that's perfect. Cool! <laughs> it's because they knew each other before the incident, Magnuson was just as much of it. Like, I mean, that's clearly the canonical thing, but I feel like that ends up making a throwaway gag in the original game too, like, way too important. Like, you know, th that's just a that's just a funny thing that you can do when dicking around, you know? I mean, it was payback. Or something. It, but it's like, the fact that he brings up the microwave casserole is just like, it, it, that, that was kind of cringy to me. And I love the game. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, you know... <sighs> like, why can't a fucking... Silly thing you can do with the microwave in the first game. Just stay that. Let it stay a silly thing. It ends up feeling like, you know, Half-Life ends up worshipping itself at that point. It's kind of out of nowhere. And... Right, yeah. About that beer I owed ya. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Like, fucking which one? Now, that might also be a joke, though. Like, the fact that they refer to the beer line. Like, they... Th that kind of feels like they're winking at the camera a little bit. Like, you know... Like, they, they're they clearly asking the player to just go along with it. But at the same time, like... Then they do it again, over and over again. In, like, episode one and two. And that just kind of stretches stretches my patience. So, I don't know. I feel like the writing is not the best part of Half-Life. Although the world building is fantastic. And the game design is really close to perfect. Like, you know, I, I don't think I would have nitpicks about Half-Life if I didn't love it so much. But it's like because Hey, what the hell are you doing down here? Get topside. I hear Because we're invested, we notice the things wrong with it and they stick in our craw even more. It's not like he's the right. Ugh. Hmm.
Like, they're all a connected consciousness. All the Barneys. The Barnescence. I love that. I want that to be the way it is. Oh, hi. Yeah, let's go. How do I get in this room? I can never fucking remember. I think... Wait a minute. No, I think it's actually this way, now that I think about it. That's how I get in there. Sorry. I remember that at, like, the last fucking second. Ah, and I hurt myself. That sucked. Damn it. Oh, shit, Valve. They all, they all became Barney Calhoun in Half-Life 2. Yeah. Yeah, we wanted to do better in the future. It, that, that is a, a good way to put it. Why do I always duck when I aim under shit? Like, why do I always physically duck? That is a dumb habit I have. I think this takes me where I'm trying to go. I can't fucking remember for sure. It looks like it does, though. Is he trying to follow me? This poor guy. Oh shit. Barney. Good boy. Who's a good boy, Barney? You are. Alright. This is the best and funniest theory I've ever heard someone suggest about Half-Life. <laughs> when playing a racing game? See, uh, I don't play racing games very often. I, I don't really... I don't really do that. But it, in shooters, I like... If I'm trying to aim under something, I like peek... I'll physically t turn my head to peek. And I always feel stupid when I do it, because I forget that I'm doing it, and then I catch myself, and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? I feel like if I play Half-Life Alex, if I play Half-Life Alex, which is going to let me actually peek under things, the first time I do that and it actually works, it's going to blow my mind. And it's also going to confuse me, because then I'll be like, well, this habit that I've tried to train myself out of actually has a purpose. Barney. Barney! Damn it! Will you get the fuck over here, man? No, don't walk back, you fucking... Yeah, right this way, dummy. Now start shooting. You with the gun! Make bullets go out of it. Thank you. Good boy. Man, did you see that shot? I did. I saw that one too. You're gonna die probably. You should have shot faster, Barney. Damn it. Hmm. Can I go this way? No. Wait a minute. Is this where the floating scientist is? I have no idea. Actually, I'm going to bring him with me. Yeah, that's good shit. Is 
This is so much more fun on this difficulty. This game just is not balanced for the hardest mode. And playing it on difficult was a pain in the ass. I mean, I'm proud of myself for beating it on difficult, but just, like, goddamn. Jez forgets the turkey by Peep Show. I've never seen that. Yeah, I've never seen that video. Oh, coffee. I like coffee. I don't know if you guys have noticed this about me yet. Oh, I'll take that. Yes. It's a shame I got that Barney killed, because he would be really useful right around here. Pardon me while I beat my meat. Oh, shit. Crap. Hmm. Bull squid! Bam! Ah, that's fun. Hi! Oh, shit. How is he alive in there? what I want to know. He was just hanging out with the bull squid. And not dead. I predicted all of this, you know. All of it. Yeah. Fine. You won't even know I got something else you can predict. Come this way. I would like you to hang out right here, sir. Nope! I'll wait right here. Damn it, you! This way. Wouldn't you like to get one of these lab samples under a microscope? I have no idea what I would like, sir. Let's go. You're weirding me out. Come this way. Come closer to me, please. I don't suppose you reconsider. Uh, you're right! I won't reconsider. Maybe I can make that. Let's see. I want to see if I can jump off of his head. That's what I'm that's what I'm angling at here. Pulling out and commencing airstrikes. That's a fun part. That did not go how I wanted. Will you get over by the fucking wall, dude? Uh, let's see. Maybe that's better? The Cooper radio line. Cooper radio line. I don't think I know a Cooper radio line. Ah, damn. Okay, let's try that again. Him. Oh, he fucking moved. Come in, Cooper. Do you read? Forget about Freeman. Okay, yeah, got it. Ah, man! I wanted to keep stepping on this guy's head.
<sighs> Damn it! So silly. Okay, I'll stop. Oh. Yeah, that thing almost, like, floated away. Hooray! Eh, fine. He gets to live because the auto-targeting was doing some weird shit. Oh, no. Hold on. You're not getting me this time, head crab. Yeah, dick! Fuck off. I'll take that. Cool. <laughs> All right, let me up. Let me over. I like the way that the soldiers try to taunt you by writing, like, messages on the walls, and they, like, can't spell. Like, they spell your last name, Free Men, and one of them just writes out your, but it's like, Y-O-U-R, dead, Freeman. They are amusingly dumb. Don't count on the cavalry finding us down here. Head for the surface. Elevators are out of order, but we can still climb. Exactly. Okay, why not? You want to die alone anyway. Oh wait, hold on. I'll wait here and help anyone else who comes by. Oh no, I think I got that Barney killed, probably. That's what do I mean, probably? Definitely. Okay, I'll cover you. All right. Oh, shit. Nice shot. Work on your reflexes. Damn you. You have to leave. All right, Camille. I hope you had a good time. I did. You like the Black Mesa Barneys more sometimes? I need to play Black Mesa. I do have a copy. Okay, I'll secure this area. That's a cool moment. I believe this will make for a notable paper, don't you? I can't really tell. I like the way that they have conversations with each other that make kind of sense. I have a beefy computer. I'm just not using it to play this game. But no, I've, I've got a fairly beefy computer. Whoops. Here we go. Jump! Okay. That guy can take some punishment, can't he? I mean, damn. The worst chapters. I mean, a lot of people feel like uh, Zen is um, the worst chapter in the original game, too. Got hostiles. For God's sake, 
Pardon me a second. Wanted to save the scientist. There, you're safe. You fucker. Stop it! If I go this way... Come here, Vortigaunt! Shit! Oh, that was dumb. I did not handle that well. That was stupid. Oh my god. Good job, Tim. Yeah. That was that was quite some failure there. They can have 357s and shotguns. That's amazing. Okay, there goes one. Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. Okay. He'll be here in a minute. Haha! -ha. I like it when Half Life plays itself. Now, let's see here. What else can I do? Well, let's see. Hold on. I can move that. Can I move that? Yes, I can. I wonder. I wonder. Hold on. Sorry, I have a pet theory that I wanna I wanna try to prove. But I might be right here. Oh, shit. Can you climb up here from here? Oh, shit. Well. Not at that distance, no. But maybe at this one. Okay, I could have sworn that would uh, open the fucking thing. Let's try again. The other side, maybe? Maybe? Hmm. This is tricky. Nothing. Damn. Can I chuck a grenade in there? I can, I just can't do anything about it. Fuck. Okay. Oh, whatever. Oh, shit. That's in the way now. Move, please. Okay. Ah, Tim, stop. Take it downstairs, buddy. Shit. That's not what I wanted to do. Though, I wonder if I can clog the spawn point. Let's see. What weird shit can I make happen over here? Ooh, that's already kind of weird. Nope, get back here. Fucking Christ. DB, what's up? 
At this point, we're just dicking around. I accidentally blew up a fucking table that I was trying to get downstairs because I hit the uh, wrong key. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Which is itself not news, but, you know. All right. Whew. Can I move this through there? Yes. That means I can get it all the way down there. Aha! Just don't hit anything. See, that'll move, but fucking where? What? Oh, that's so weird. What? Okay, now it's on top of this. I can stack objects over here. Except, except when I can't. Oh no. Oh dear, what the fuck is happening? Well, okay. Can I clog the spawn point? That's what I need to see. Ah, it didn't work. Hold on. But, see, I know that it didn't work because this was in the wrong place. If I move this a little bit, it might actually work. You're in a box. Now, you can shoot through the box. All I've done is create an invincible fucking portagon. Well, fuck that shit. Hmm. Oh. Mm. This is silly. Why am I doing this? You don't think that's how any of this works. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, love that gold source shit, man. Attention. All military personnel. Atomic, biological, chemical alert. Yeah, he doesn't see me. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Fuck it. And since that didn't trip anything... Oh shit! You fuckers. Yeah, okay. Ugh. I am kind of wondering if I can exploit that as a way to, like, get objects way out of bounds here. Hold on. That's worth looking into. Let's see here. Um, I think the thing to do is pull this over here. Excuse me, burping. All right. Well, now I can cross that threshold and not be punished for it, which means I can put this... Actually, let's move the table back. That seems to be the one that can really be moved on top of other objects. Good God, man. Like, for real. That's just... That's just crazy talk. Can you stop the train in GTA? You can actually stop the train in fucking Half-Life 2? That's incredible. That's, that's awesome. Holy shit. I tried putting, uh, I tried using the gravity gun to move a, uh, it was one of those combine APCs. 
I tried moving that in front of the train. Uh, in the coastline part, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but it's like normally you're driving the, the buggy and um, uh, if the train hits the buggy then you get a mission failure. I tried moving the... I tried moving a, a combine, you know, transport. I, I gravity gunned it slowly into the path of the train. Highway 17, thank you. Holy shit. Thank you. Uh, I, I slowly gravity gunned that thing from, like, the previous area into the path of the train. Train hits it, and I got a mission fail. So it's some sort of weird trigger where if the train collides with anything, I think, it just fails you. That kind of pissed me off. Shit. Okay, I need to move this up the stairs a little bit. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Wonder if you can beat Highway 17 by walking? Maybe. Probably, honestly. I have a harder time thinking that you couldn't, you know? Oh, see, that needs to be a little lower. Ah, fuck. Okay, hold on. Can I push this? Okay, wait a minute now. We might be onto something here. Oh! Shit. Hold on. Ah, fuck. W wedge a prop between a wall and the direction the train has come. To the point there is nowhere for the prop to shoot out. Okay, that makes sense. So you really have to exploit a bug in the physics engine. But if the prop has nowhere to shoot out, that... Okay. I feel like there's a joke in there about, you know, what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object or something. I can't seem to fucking get this. I'm gonna bring... Hold on. I'm gonna bring the smaller boxes towards me. I'm starting to get ideas from that. Huh. If it's wedged between a door and a wall, that's basically how it works, except it's a train. Jesus. The prop freeze and dust particles emit from it. Yeah, exactly, because basically it's it's impacting at a high velocity at a high velocity over and over again. Or at least that's what the physics engine thinks is happening. There we go. Uh, well, hmm. that's not quite what I had in mind, but sure. Uh, can I? Okay, maybe, maybe, okay, okay, no, we're making progress here. I think. I, I really actually think that now. Yeah. Hold on. 
Security material storage. Yes! No! Fuck! You ever just accidentally set off a nuke? <laughs> I mean, in Shadow Warrior, yeah. Because I thought that the, um... I thought that I had a homing rocket selected. Turned out to be a nuke. Entirely my fault. Oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. Tim! What the fuck, man? I can just do this. Hold on. Fuck. Okay, this is tricky. This is definitely not how physics work. <laughs> but this is... Uh, this is working kind of well. If I can smuggle this, I can smuggle bigger objects. My god, what a big pain in the ass, though. Uh, why do I fucking do this? This is... This is so goddamn hard. Alright. Uh... But see, I can bring through more is the other thing. I could stack these on top of other boxes. I really want to see if I can get one, like, past that. That's what I'm really trying to see. Actually, can I do anything with this already? Not really, not yet. Oh, this is fucking silly. Let me up. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, that's not... Oh, come on. Really? Rise and shine, nuke time. You can hear them be referring to search and destroy forces already. HECU ain't innocent. Who are they trying to fool? Fuck. Can I make that? What would happen if an object were to teleport inside another object? I'm not sure. Um, I know that, uh, the Vortigaunt was able to teleport inside the box and not be killed, so maybe nothing interesting would happen. Which is kind of, like, boring to think about, but really might be, like, nothing. Fuck! This... Well, now, hold on this way. Hmm. Let's kill that thing. Hmm. 
maybe if I go around this side, it'll it'll work. But I don't know if that chair will will fit. Or not chair. That's a table. That's a table. Tables and chairs are not the same thing. You can sit on them both, yes, but you're only supposed to sit on one of them. Come on. Okay. Well, I got that box over there. That's some kind of weird accomplishment, I guess. Can set stuff on both. Eh. What happens if I just jump on this? And see, if I nudge it from the side, it falls. If I do this... If I do this, it stays afloat in midair. Uh, the answer is I am just dicking around, Maslin. I am just straight up dicking around. I don't really have a plan. I'm just trying to see what is theoretically doable. I'm just experimenting right now. Whoa! This is the kind of thing that I find really interesting in games. Is uh, when you can get games to sort of misbehave. Also, um, one thing that you might find interesting and might not. Um, but uh, I have a really old video on this channel. And I mean from like 2006. Uh, of Halo 2 glitches. Um... I've been posting glitches on this channel for a very long time. And I've just, like, I don't know, I've... The way I think about games is kind of weird. Because I'm always trying to see, like, what I can do to break them. Hey. It's probably weird to watch. But hey, I think I just found a way to transport an even bigger box up there. And if I can do that, I have no idea what else I could do. It's a shame I blew up that other table, because it looks like that other table was the size where I could probably fucking... Sorry, is this boring? I can stop. Because I, I, I'm halfway thinking, here's, I'm, I'm thinking I can continue doing this weird shit, but I'm also kind of thinking of um, popping in uh, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force for a minute, which is a first-person shooter based on the TV show. What do you guys think in the chat? Thoughts on Cyberpunk 2077? Um, I like it on PC. Uh, I think it's fucking terrible the way that they released it on consoles. Uh, I'm, I'm mad at CD Projekt Red for lying to people, because I had friends that were looking forward to it who could only play it on PS4. Bugs, glitches, and issues in that game is honestly impressive. Right. Well, and here's the thing. On the PC, the bugs that are in the game don't ruin the experience for me. They don't break the game. They don't crash the game or ruin anything. But, um, fucking the console version is terrible. Hey, babe! Huh? I love you, Holly. Makes you wonder how, how the hell some of the glitches occur. Yes! I, I've seen some weird ones happen in Cyberpunk. Um, I'm not sure what the weirdest one I've seen is. There was one, uh, there was one glitch that happened 
where uh, I had a bunch of NPCs spawning inside each other. I put that one on Reddit, actually. That one did okay. So, babe, I have been experimenting with moving objects through here and trying to get them to float. Like, if you, if you put objects down here and then push another object from up here uh, hard enough, they'll, like, hit this wall over here and land on top of the object underneath, and then you can push them both at the same time. That's why I've got this box stacked on top of this table. But the thing is, if you take the table away, the box just floats in midair. Until you push it, then it falls. But... Half-Life, real-life consequences when... Oh... So that's how I got this little box over here to float. Was by, by pushing it over here on top of that table. And that's also how... If you don't touch the box from the side, you can actually stand on it in midair. So what I'm doing right now is not possible, but I'm doing it anyway. It's from one of uh, Krishal's streams where somebody asks how the game's going so far, and immediately after he reads that comment... Akari touched, glitched into the ground, and spazzed out. That is hilarious. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up the clip that I'm talking about. Uh, it shouldn't be hard for me to find. Submitted. Welcome to reality. Here we go. Yeah. Check this out, Maslin. Holly has seen this. Here you go. When when this happened in game, I cracked up. It's the combination of the voice clip that played with like what happened in game. Hmm. And that did happen during a stream. Because I, I have been streaming Cyberpunk, but I, I haven't picked it up in a while. Um, no particular reason, just haven't. Oh, let's see. Oh, you can't use Reddit. Have I got it up on my YouTube channel? Um, no, I don't. I'm sorry. Um, I'll tell you what, though. Um, I'll paste it again in a community in a community post. I'll paste it in a community post after the stream. Um, and then you can check that out there. Uh, that way. That way, all you have to do is go back to my channel, check the community tab, it'll be right there. So I'll do that. Full life consequences when... Dude, I wish I knew. I thought they wrapped up Half-Life full life consequences, though. Whoa, shit. Pretty sure they're not uh, making any more. Because, like, the, the original fan fiction ended, too. It's one of my favorite things on the internet. I, I can't tell how... I, I want to know how the original author feels about it, though. Because, like... I'm sure he knows that it's brought people so much joy. But I hope that he doesn't feel bad... About the fact that, like, it's a result of... The... The... Uh, broken English. John Freeman's brother, who is Gordon Freeman's brother, was was one day in an office typing on a computer. Gordon Freeman got an email from his brother that said that monsters and aliens were attacking his place.
Yeah, I'm gonna move this uh, table out. Ah, oh, shit! That's not what I wanted to fucking do. That is, though. Yay, made another one float. <laughs> they all float down here. I just wish I knew a way to get these things, like, higher than they are. That's the thing I can't f figure out. Damn! Hasn't uploaded in about four years. Okay. Am I finally gonna jump on that? Yes! Haha! -ha! I did something I've never done before. I'm standing on top of this thing. Hooray! I conquered the game. At least in my eyes. <laughs> By my weird standards of what con of what constitutes victory, that's a victory. <laughs> All right. Well, that was odd. We need to make a real-life resonance cascade. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. Hey! Fuck. These fucking bastard-ass head crabs. Ooh, ninja shit! Idiot box? Yes, I have. Hax! Yeah, I've watched that stuff. That's good stuff. Boom! Oh no! You shot the scientist, how dare you! I certainly hope you know what you're doing. G-Man! Would you? I'll stay here. Would Would you please move, Mr. Scientist Man? Thank you. Oh. You can stop. Ah! Fucking shit! That was so dumb. B man. All right, save them both this time. Very cool. I hate that guy. Like, the G-Man is a fantastic villain. So when I say I hate that guy, I mean, like, in that love-to-hate-him kind of way. Get back! Three years since Bullshit uploaded the last uh, video. Yeah. I mean, for that matter, I can't believe that it's been, like, almost 23 years since the release of Half-Life. It's... God! It's been, uh... 15 years, just about, since the first video I ever posted on this channel. wonder. Hold on. These things don't go up ladders, can they? Yes. Let's go. Do they? Well, let's see. I refuse to go another step. Yes, I know you do, Mr. Science Man. You refuse. Oh, shit. Come on. Yeah, that's not what I want to, to have happen there. I don't think there's any boxes upstairs I can use, are there? Lost Hope in Half-Life 3? You know, I had Lost Hope in Half-Life 3 until they made Alex, and now I'm thinking maybe they probably are actually going to do Half-Life 3 eventually. 
But also, I've just lost excitement for it. I'm not chomping at the bit for it. If they make it, I'm sure it'll be amazing. I'm just not holding my breath. Oh, hello. Wait just a dang old second there. Hold on, just a potato. Okay, let's... Let's kill him. Die, please, thank you. Bad. Bad man. Uh... Now let's, let's see here. That doesn't move. That's fine. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see what the fuck can get done here. Hmm. Yeah, okay, hold on. Interesting. Time for more dicking around! You had enough of this shit yet? <laughs> this is what I am made of! Nonsense! Hmm. Will we ever make it out of here? Yeah, I don't know. I believe so. You just woken up for school and you looked at your recommended and the first trailer was there. So this, my gaming PC, I bought it partially because I was looking forward to Half-Life Alex. Then... So, because this thing is basically Oculus ready, um, or at least that's what it—that's what the sticker says on the box. So I'm assuming. Um, but uh, then, fucking the then the pandemic happened. <laughs> then the pandemic happened. All my plans went to shit. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. No, you fucker. Him? Yeah, sure, okay. Yeah, let's see if I can push that thing over onto it. I'm nervous that this won't work out right. Thought you were dreaming for a second. Yeah, I, yeah, right? Right. I mean, like, I expect that if and when the game comes out, it'll be amazing. Uh, if they're going to do it at all, I would like for them to take their time with it. That said, some people, you know, will die before it comes out. So there's that. So, some Valve fans just literally won't live long enough. Ugh. Okay, that's... that worked. But what good does that do me? I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I'm trying to accomplish here. Oh, what else is new? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. I'm so close that that is basically going to push both of them. All right. Oh, oh that's making me nervous. If I inch forward, it's fine. Oh, Jesus. Christ. Okay. Will that fit? That'll fit! God, Tim. Okay. Oof. 
I haven't played it. I I, I don't want to know. I don't know. I don't want to know much more about it. But that is that is pretty oof. Don't you think we should wait here for a while? Of course. What the hell am I trying to do? I think that I'm trying to see if I can climb on top of these lights. That's what I'm trying to do. Can it be done? That's what that that's my my thesis here. I want to see if I can climb the lights. Sure. I'll bet I can actually. I'll bet if I move these scientists. Well, oh, this is gonna suck, though. To I probably could have, maybe, no, I don't know. See, this is where the fucking. I suspected this could happen, but the administrator just would not listen. The administrator is a fucking genocidal dick, and you don't know it yet. Drill instructor Barnes. Oh yeah, dude. You know, you know that's Duke Nukem, right? Drill instructor Barnes. It's the same actor who plays Duke Nukem. Holy shit. Gus in Half-Life 3. That's right, John St. John. Yeah, he's the he's uh, Drill Instructor Barnes in um, in Half-Life Opposing Force. Yeah. I follow him on Twitter. His Twitter is fucking amazing. What a name. Yeah. Oh, shit. Come on. That might not be high enough, is the problem. Like, I can probably fall off of it, but can I jump from it? That's what I don't know. By the way, Francis, how you doing, man? If only Drill Instructor Barnes could see me now. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see. Can I... Oh, no, I can't make the jump from there. Can I make the jump from here? Yes. But from here, can I make this jump? Mmm. See, that I'm not so sure of. It's not looking like I can. At least not doing what I'm doing. Still renting the old spot until the, the 15th. Okay. So you're sort of between places. Bit of a shit show. I'm sorry to hear that, man. But I hope it resolves itself peacefully and easily very soon. Ah. No, I didn't notice that. I've only ever played Opposing Force like once or twice. Like, complete playthroughs, I mean. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, hold on. Oh, that's cute. That's fucking cute. Okay. Yeah, it won't load the thing in here. That's funny. Well, that in and of itself is entertaining to me.
<laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that makes me happy. Well then. I'll destroy it now. And keep moving. Half-Life Otis. Just stream this for four more hours. Just more dicking around. I mean, I, I already beat the, um... I, I ended up finishing the game today. And so I just, like, went back and started the game again on medium. Because, like... It's an I feel like it's an accomplishment that I beat the game on difficult, but I didn't have that much fun. Not on difficult, you know? The, the enemies just take too much ammo to kill. But this is nice. Ah. Is this, is the elevator gonna kill me? Yeah, it is. I should have jumped. My arch nemesis. The fucking sticky ass elevators. Anything that I can use now? Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Scientist Man. Ah. Let's go. What happens if I look down? That usually prevents it, right? Nope, it doesn't. Fuck. Gonna put some more time into it after this. Nice. Okay. There's a cockroach there. I swear to God, if the cockroach is the reason that the fucking elevator got stuck... Oh, this son of a... I bet that is the reason for the fucking thing. I fucking hate cockroaches. Of any kind. Real or imagined. Shoot him! He's with the science team! Please die. Thank you. Is that scientist alive or dead? I can't even tell. Oh, he's way dead. It was nice of the combat music to fucking, like, play out basically entirely while I was stuck on a stupid goddamn elevator. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, that fucking sucks. Uh, will this work? No. Fuck. Dodging tongues. Yeah. If I go this way, I can... Yeah. I can get the drop on these guys. You won't say little fuckers? Wait, what? I feel like I missed something. Hmm. Come 
Come closer, fool. Oh, shit. That dick. Yeah, he's real, really trying to ruin my shit, isn't he? Okay. I have fucking had it with this guy. Dick. Through level transitions in Half-Life? Yes! There's one really early on that bothers me. It's, it's like in Root Canal. It's like right at the very beginning. It's like right at the very beginning of the level. You go down a flight of stairs while the fucking music is still playing from the train yard. And, uh, the fucking music cuts out. It's, it has always fucking bothered me. Yeah, yeah. They know. That's why they're shooting, sir. Alright, there goes another one. Oh, fucking damn it. If this were on difficult mode, I would have fucking died already. Love you too, man. I'll see you around. Thank you for stopping by. I'm gonna kill this one. They all dead, they all dead. I'm gonna try to bring at least one of the scientists up onto the elevator. I seem to remember that being a source of some shenanigans. In Half-Life 2, yeah. The music scripting is just a little bit it's, it's, it's a little bit awkward in Half-Life 2. It's a little bit awkward in the first game as well. Which is a shame because the soundtrack is so good. It's just like, it doesn't cooperate. Aggravating. Yeah. Like, that's not what I want. One of the things I love about I, about No One Lives Forever, which I, I started the other day, which I ended up reinstalling so that, because uh, I realized the reason it was hiccuping while I streamed it was because I had it at a, uh, a limited install, so it was reading information from the disc. So I gave it a full install, and that ended up stopping the stuttering problem completely. Um, but one of the things I love about that game is it has a highly adaptive soundtrack. Like... No shit, one of the best adaptive soundtracks I've ever heard. Um, and, uh, yeah. No One Lives Forever just doesn't have that problem. It does not have that problem where the music, you know, doesn't play when you, when you want it to. It's just constantly perfect. <laughs> Die! What? Where'd the guy go? Oh, he's still here. Isn't he? Or did he blow himself up? He may have blown himself up. I think he did blow himself up. Holy shit. What a moron. Where the fuck? Yeah, there he is. Yeah, he must have stood here, tried to throw a grenade, and it landed on himself. That's awesome. I love this game. Mm. Need for Speed has good adaptive music. Nice. Let's move that onto that. That that's not a terrible idea. All right, now let's bring the scientist. Let's get him. Sorry, Ma, I, actually, I accidentally killed myself with a grenade. Yeah. Oh, they dumb. They dumb. God bless them. Ooh, wait a second. Ah, damn. 
Hold on, I'm 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 back on my bullshit again. Hold on. Let me see if this works. Okay, hold on. No, Tim. Oh. I meant a quick load, not quick save. Whatever, man. <laughs> Whatever. Fucking F6 and F7 are too close together. Actually, I could still... I could still exploit, um, this stuff. Get out of my way. Fucking stupid dead body of a American soldier. Jerk. Alright, let's go this way and move this. Just Gordon Freeman being disrespectful and not giving a shit. I'm gonna do this now. Oh, no, wait, I can't push these back upstairs. Once they go down, they don't come back up. Shit. That's right. Fuck. Hello, Eugene. Gotta get involved with the police during the game. Okay. I think I remember hearing about this. It, like, had the most involved storyline ever for a Need for Speed game. think. Oh. I pushed those together. Now kiss. Alright. Now let's bring the fucking... Now let's bring the scientist. Haha. <sighs> Come a little closer. This way, not the other way. Thank you. Glad to oblige you, yes, come this way, fool. Upstairs, please. Pathfinding in this game is damn fucking good. Gotta say. Although the scientists are annoying with it at times. Follow me, damn it. Adaptive police radio chatter. That is pretty cool. Like, I'm assuming they... They describe different things about your car and the situation that you're in, right? Whoops. Didn't Grand Theft Auto 4 have, like, adaptive radio uh, chatter, too? You won't even know I'm here. Nice. Oh, this guy. Come on, man. Just go upstairs, fool. Aha! Good. Why are you not moving, sir? I'm slowing you down. <sighs> I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. Your colleagues are not coming. Do you still say there's nothing to chaos theory? I say there's something to fucking move. That's cool.
I don't know why the scientist just... Oh, it's probably the blood. That's probably his problem. He's freaked out. Alright. Sorry. I had the weirdest dream. There we go. Oh, I guess I can't do it this way, can I? No, get the fuck back on! You fucking turkey. A failure of this magnitude is extremely improbable. Yeah, well, you're you're living in the improbable, buddy. Well, the dimensional breach is definitely transmitting organic matter. Okay, let's see now. What's going to happen? Yeah, Holly, I would recommend playing on easy, probably. That that sounds like a good idea. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, e easy is a good setting. Um, uh, medium is like the setting that I personally like to play at for this. Difficult is just like, oh, man. I just wish I hadn't... I wish I hadn't streamed this on difficult. Now, let's see. Sorry. I'm, I don't know how many times I'm going to quick load and just, like, close the door on this scientist, but it's funny. That's too... too good. Oh! Oh, it's pushing the boxes around. That's weird. Am I going to get crushed? Oh no, the boxes are gonna deload. Okay. What happens if I don't kill the man? Let's find out. With my brain, this is as far as I go. <laughs> Do you still say there's nothing to chaos theory? At the moment, Holly, I'm just doing weird shit. I don't suppose you yes, but I'm going to stay here and wait for my color. Ah man, come on. With my brains, I swear bomb, to God, we'll make an excellent team. I want to see if I can push this guy any further onto the elevator. No, not off. Go back. Go back. You were so hard to get in place. Oh, thank God. Okay. Let's see what happens. gonna leave the thing? No, he's not. That's exactly what you were talking about with stopping the train. Yes! Shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Did that kill the scientist? No, he's he's fine. What if I go here? Okay. That was an interestingly timed uh, musical cue. You're enjoying this? I I am enjoying you enjoying this. I am messing around a lot. I'm definitely not doing this the way that it's uh, meant to be done. Um. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, fuck! No! 
Don't go that way, sir. All right, let's see what happens now. If you kill him, I think his body, like, sinks through the floor or something. Oh, no, 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 it stops the elevator if you get close to it. See? And then, and then it just falls through for some reason. Yeah, there we go. Video games! They're broken. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck! That got somebody. Shit. Oh, you jerk! Damn. Crowbar time. Not a good use of anything I have, but fuck it. Yeah, I love this game. I, I've spent as much time, like... Because I did, I did finish the game earlier. And then I just started it over again, and I've probably spent as much time this stream, like, messing with things as actually playing the game seriously. Whoa! Some of those bones were probably mine. Their only experience of humanity was a crowbar coming at them down a steel corridor. Let's let's not allude to uh, to future ones too much because we have some some known people in the chat who, who are going to be experiencing Half Life for the first time soon, and that makes me very excited. Boom! Oh, shit. Fuck! Oh, no. There we go. Shit! That was a grenade he threw. He'll be sending his friend home in several boxes. In all dogs go to heaven, too. Christ. <laughs> uh, I thought Gordon Freeman died uh, in Breaking Bad. After he settled down and started a family. Uh, I don't I don't really consider Black Mesa the real thing. I love Black Mesa. It seems really cool. But it's you know, it's it's Half-Life the Twin Snakes. There's a difference between what's canon and what's just the more fun way to go through things and I kind of think playing the original is is more interesting. It's sort of like how I would suggest someone start Star Wars with A New Hope. Because, like, the creative decisions, even for the prequels, are sort of informed by what was originally in the original film. Going in episodic order is not always the most enlightening way to do something. Or to put another word, canonicity is not always the most important thing in my mind. It's important to a point, but it's not like the end-all be-all.
I say that as someone who knows way too goddamn much about Star Trek. <laughs> and who gets irked when it contradicts itself. And I guess I just contradicted myself, but, you know, that's... Whatever. Just said if they want to. Yeah, that's true. You, yeah, that, that's a good point. You did say that. You did say that. Uh, she will be playing on the PS2. Oh, this bastard. This fucking bastard. She will be playing on the PS2, so Black Mesa is not really an option. But I do get your point. Earthworm Jim. Yes, I did. Holy shit. I did play Earthworm Jim. I have a copy uh, right now, actually. Where, where the fuck is it? It's over here somewhere. Uh, where are you, Earthworm Jim? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Right here. Oh. Earthworm. Yeah. There we go. Ah. So good. Sometimes it feels like it drags on an interloper. Yeah, I mean, like, it... it it's... It's great. It's... It's, you know... I just... Even though it's based on Half-Life... Even though it recreates Half-Life, it, it isn't, like, it, it isn't, I, Half-Life is Half-Life, Black Mesa is a remake of Half-Life. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense or not. In the 90s, they made a remake of Psycho, the the Hitchcock movie. They reshot it in color with, like, a newer cast. It had uh, Vince Vaughn and William H. Macy. Um, shot for shot, it recreated Psycho. And it's, it's definitely a more technologically advanced Psycho, but it's not Psycho. It's Gus Van Sant's Psycho. You got rid of the disk drive? By playing Black Mesa, then Half-Life, you love both, you can't say which one you like more. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fair. That's fair. Um, I know people who have gotten into Metal Gear Solid because they played Twin Snakes first. I am not knocking it. I am not knocking it. I'm not saying that you had a bad experience or that your experience is not valid. I, I'm just trying to make sure I draw some distinctions between which things are which. If, if you know, I that, that's all I'm getting at. Um, for me, part of the thing with Half-Life that made it so interesting to me uh, was how it changed things at the time. And I'm also, I, I, I also really like seeing things in their rough cut forms. Um... Like it, 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 if it sounds like I'm knocking Half Life, if it sounds like I'm knocking Half Life or like I'm knocking remakes in general, I'm not. I think remakes are a great thing. I just don't think remakes are replacements for the original. You know, I don't think that they're replacements for the original. And uh, if, if someone plays a remake but they never play the original, that's fine. That's fine. It's just, you know, it's just that they didn't have the same experience as someone who played the original. And someone who's only played the original won't have the same experience as someone who played the remake. I feel like I'm making this sound more important than it really is. It's not. But part of a multiverse mentioned in Portal 2 and some time travel wobbly wibblies. Right. How do I feel about Gary's mod introducing people to Half-Life? I feel great about anything introducing people to Half-Life. I love Half-Life, and 
it, for whatever reasons anyone else ever gets into it, whatever introduces someone to Half-Life, that's fine by me. You know? I kind of feel the same way about Star Trek, really. Whatever gets someone into Star Trek, great. I'm happy for it. Because it's a wonderful thing to add to your life, you know? I want to play Elite Force. Epistle 3, right! There's no canon, he said, before he left. Right, or at least, like, the canon doesn't sound like it was taken too seriously. Like, they weren't restricting themselves with it, I guess, is the, the way to put it. Their idea of containment is to kill everyone associated with the project. You didn't open the door for me! Yeah. Dick! I seem to be seriously wounded. I didn't think he would survive that. That was hilarious. <sighs> Alright. What the fuck was that? Dancing scientist. Yeah. Yeah, you're telling me. That was funny. Can I... Can I bring him this way? No, I don't think I can. I don't think he'll go this way. Oh yeah, that's fine. Hey, y'all want to see something else weird? Oh, wait, hold on. I'm just going to take out the bull squid from here first. Hmm. This is... Whoa, Jesus. This is one of my favorite things to do in this game. Is, uh... This malarkey right here. Hold on. Let's kill the... Kill this thing. Okay. Um... Oh, shit. Had more than two games until you saw. Well, honestly, DB, well, all that means is that there's more out there that you can play. It means that it's not over for you yet. That's a great feeling. That's honestly, that's part of the reason why I haven't played uh, Blue Shift or um, Decay yet, or like much of Decay. Because it it's going to be hard for me when I run out. I've stretched it out for years. Um, I kind of feel like it doesn't matter if they're canon. The reason it doesn't matter if they're canon is because they're just worth playing because they're good games. Who cares if they connect to the storyline? This is like when people were complaining that, like, I'm always nervous bringing up Star Wars because I don't want to start talking too much about, about it, but... When people were complaining that so much of uh, the books and games and stuff from, from Star Wars were now non-canon. You know, they're Star Wars Legends now, they're not canon. I was like, well, who cares if they're canon anymore? Does that suddenly mean that they aren't good stories now? They're still out there, they're still accessible, they still sell the fucking things. Who cares if they're canon? to the films anymore. They're, every story is canon unto itself, you know? Every story is canon unto itself. 
Who cares how it relates to other things? A story is a story is a story. Sorry about that, folks. OBS, uh, OBS kind of forgot what it was doing for a minute there. Oh, no! Is it glitching out now? Why? This is a terrible time to do this. There we go. Okay, it's fine. Thought the ending of Half-Life 2 was a big cliffhanger. Yeah. I mean, for a lot of people, it still kind of is, because there are still people who haven't played the episodes. You want to know a fucking awful cliffhanger? That The cliffhanger of Sin Episodes Emergence. Which, funny enough, is made using the Half-Life 2 engine of all fucking things. And it ends on a cliffhanger. And it was supposed to be the first of nine episodes. It's still on Steam. It was first uploaded to St it, it, it was first published on Steam in 2006. You can still buy Sin Episodes 1 Emergence. They only made one episode out of a planned nine. The developer just makes mobile games now, but they still sell that game. Borealis is probably going to be released in 10 years. Fuck. If we're lucky. All right, so here's one of my favorite things to do in this game. Yeah, but what I was saying is, uh, uh, every story is canon unto itself, and if it's a if it's a good story, it doesn't really bother me if it doesn't connect to like the source material anymore, because um, that does that that doesn't mean that the story goes away. Let's see. Um, I'm a little nervous here. Is this gonna fuck it up? No, I can push it. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do this. This is going to be cool. This always cracks me up. Oh, wait, shit. God damn it. Has to create everything from, from scratch. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, actually, you know, that that might still work. All right, let's call the elevator. <laughs> let's do it. I gotta go up, don't I? Yeah, I do. Ooh, I hope that works. Oh, hey, there's a med kit here. And a crowbar, in case I somehow haven't picked up a crowbar by now. Yeah, here we go. All right. All right, so we got... Okay, we got our, uh, our box... It's where I want it to be. That's good. I'm going to nudge it just a little bit. Just to be sure. I don't want it falling on me. No, you fucking bastard! Damn. Okay. Let's go. All right. Hmm. I can push this, damn it. What the hell is happening right now? Well, I mean, really, I can just push it in and then push it over, right? That's all I need to do. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Get out of the pit. Go. Okay, it's gonna open, it's gonna fall, and it's gonna raise. Here we go. Isn't using source, We're using either uh, Unreal or Unity. Okay. Huh. All right. Okay, we're almost there, folks. Okay, killed those. I'm just gonna clear the way a little bit for uh, my favorite thing.
Oh, fuck. Is it dead? It's dead. Let's get all the fucking hound eyes dead. Weird little aliens. Come on! Die! Unreal and Unity confused because they're both two big engines that a lot of people use and they both start with you. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I don't really get them confused often because, like, I grew up playing Unreal Tournament. Um, and also, uh, the creator of the Unreal Engine, Tim Sweeney, is from my state. Uh, there's also a couple of, um, a couple of, uh, business differences between how Unreal Engine and Unity work. They're both engines that you can use now, the Unreal Engine as well, you can use now for free. The difference, though, is, um, uh, Unity, you can publish your game for free, completely. Unreal, you, like, you can publish your game commercially for sale for free, you just have to have, like, the Unity logo in it. Um, Unreal, you can publish the game for commercial use, but Epic uh, takes part of the earnings. But they're, they're both usable for free, is the neat thing. So it really just comes down to, like, how do you want your money on the back end? Uh, both engines probably humongously reduce uh, the cost of game development. Okay, here we go. Yay! All right. Good. It worked. I love this. Let's do it. Whoa. Okay. Hello, box! What's wrong with you, box? No, come back! Come back! I'm gonna miss you! I don't want to live in a world without my box. I'm going to fling myself into the acid. That is that is my favorite trick to do in this game. I love you, too. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. Oh my god, wait, there's a bull squid over there? I thought I killed them all. That's w Wait a minute. That bull squid is on the... Hold on. He was on the thing, why? That's weird, I don't understand. Whoa! Ah, I did it again. Gosh darn it, Tim, you did it again. You jumped into the boiling radioactive sludge. This hellish Nickelodeon. Oh. The chainsaw bar, your favorite. Yes! I feel like that the, the thing with the chainsaw, or the chainsaw, the crowbar, like, striking that fast, it must be, like, dealing damage with every single frame. That must be the, the nature of, the, of that glitch. It's funny. Die, please! Thank you. All right. Okay, so this is gonna sound silly, but I know that even though I've beaten this game already, I'm very seriously considering continuing, like, continuing this playthrough on a different day, just because now that I'm playing on a, now that I'm playing on medium, I'm just having more fun. But I do want to end the stream. But before I end the stream, as a parting gift, as a self-indulgent parting gift, um, I think I want to play uh, Elite Force for a couple minutes. 
to, to heck with it. Exactly. He must be jacked if he can swing a crowbar that fast. He, he would have to be. Alright, so, yeah, that, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save. Before I go, I'm gonna play maybe about 15 minutes of uh, Elite Force. Also, I am going to grab um, my dinner real quick. So I'll be right back. I'll be right back in just a moment. Uh, I am not going anywhere. You guys might like Elite Force. I don't know how y'all feel about Star Trek, but the thing is, this game is basically like, what if you took Half-Life and... What if you took Star Trek and made a Half-Life game out of it? Is kind of what Elite Force is like. Um, it's got a good atmosphere. It looks great. It was developed... Uh, Elite Force was developed by Raven, the same people who made the Soldier of Fortune series. And they also made, uh, you know, Jedi Knight 2 and Jedi Academy. Like, these guys know their shit. They're good developers. And I think it's a good game. So with that in mind, I'm just gonna... just gonna pop this in real quick. Can also kick a giant crate across the room. Yeah. All right. Okay. Can't wait for half. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab uh I'm going to grab my uh my dinner real quick. It'll only take a second. Um pardon me, I am going to roll an ad. Just since I'm going to be in the other room anyway. But I'm going to be back in like one minute. Maybe less. Who's up? Okay. <clears throat> Folks, I am back. Thank you for your patience. You love how the excuse for all the video game bullshit in Half-Life is Gordon's suit. Yes. Okay, so Elite Force has a great excuse for its own video game bullshit. Real quick. Half or life. <laughs> Access. What kind of operating system do I have? Um, this computer, the, it, so I'm streaming from this computer, all right? This computer has Windows 10, but this computer right here, the one that I streamed Half-Life from, uh, that's got Windows XP running on it. Uh, excuse me. Um, I use this computer because it's compatible with a lot of the older games that I have. All right. Also, the reason for the blipping that's been happening uh, is because I am capturing this from a uh, composite source. is an analog signal. And the reason the reason for the analog signal is because I I have been playing on a CRT monitor. Well, television really. But I I'm not using an HD TV. Also aesthetics, right. 
No, I'm trying to go as genuine old school as I can here. Hmm, yes. Now, I'm trying to go as genuine old school as I can. Whenever I do, I don't always retro game, but when I do, I go hard. You use Windows XP to delete files. Hmm. Alright, let's hit new game here. Let's go with normal, fuck it. Engage. Man, on Star Date Four, I don't know. One five point six, the USS Voyager was transported beyond our control, seventy thousand light years across the galaxy like to the Delta bright. Quadrant. There, without aid from Starfleet, we began our seventy-year journey home. In our numerous encounters, we came into contact with many dangerous and violent species. Having a limited crew with no chance of reinforcements, we determined that we needed a specialized team to handle the more dangerous situations. Tuvok, Voyager's chief of security, assembled an elite force of security personnel named the Hazard Team. Yeah. Ensign Monroe is second in command of this uniquely trained team. Equipped with Seven of Nine's experimental anti Borg weapon, the Infinity oh. Modulator, oh. the Hazard Team has beamed to a Borg okay. cube on a dangerous Okay. I'm going to have to wait before I can eat that pizza. However, That's a little the team too hot. Was quickly Shit. overwhelmed, and the iMod is now in the hands of the Borg. I actually just burned my rest, tongue doing that. I was attempting to rescue Damn the team. It. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, I'm fucking clumsy. Flashback from the past. Right? Thanks, the dude. Of how the beginning text slowly moves. Dude, it's it's all fine by me. I love Star Wars and Star Trek. No, that's a um that's a microwave that you were hearing. Acknowledged. So yeah, no, I I love um Star Wars and Star Trek. Uh my f okay, my favorite movie is Return of the Jedi. My favorite TV show is Star Trek the Next Generation. Review it now before proceeding. But yeah, this game is a lot like it's a lot like Half-Life, except Star Trek. Microwave Cascade. I'm gonna lower the in-game resolution. It's uh, a little bit too high, honestly. In my opinion. 800 by 600? Yeah, let's, let's make it a little shittier. This resolution's too high. I want garbage, damn it! Give me that garbage! Anything for those frames. There we go. These are the Borg. The Borg are scary. They're like zombies, but worse. Ah, oh, fuck. They're like techno zombies. They'll ignore you for now, but if you start causing trouble... They'll all wake up... And, uh, and they'll fucking... They'll bone you. Oh, shit. There goes one. See, that's the thing. Y the Borg will adapt to your weapons. You can get off maybe a shot or two... And then all of a sudden they understand the frequency of your weapon. And, uh, they will, the survivors will adjust their shields to make sure that your weapons can't hurt them anymore. There we go. They're all connected to a hive mind. So what I just destroyed, uh, was sort of a, a distribution node. What brand is that old TV? This is a Magnavox. Uh, it has a built-in DVD player and a built-in VCR. Now you can't really see the TV. Um, I 
Whoops. He's doing the dying man dance. Okay. Alt. Right. Okay. Ah, yes. Remember when I said this game was a little bit like, uh... A little like Half-Life? Yeah, you, you can refill shit at these, uh, at certain terminals. Let's, uh, get this guy. Oh, shit. Hopefully they don't adapt to this weapon that quickly. Oh, shit, he adapted to this fire. Let's go with the charge shot. Maybe he won't adapt to that. Fuck! That's bad. Okay, they're they're used to me now. My favorite trilogy of movies? Um, that's that's the original Star Wars trilogy. Definitely. Real life combine invasion when God. Maybe it's already happened. Oh, there's the distribution node. Let's destroy that. Cool. And away we go. They're creepy. Jump. Sorry, I haven't remapped the controls. The controls are fucking weird. Like, X is jump. C is activate. E does nothing. You can lean, though. You can actually lean around corners and fire. Back to the Future is fucking good, man. They put something in it to make you forget. I, I, I don't even know how I got here. John Patrick Lowry. I was playing a game the other day, uh, No One Lives Forever, and uh, Maslin got really excited because the actor who plays most of those NPCs in um, Half-Life 2 uh, plays a main character in uh, No One Lives Forever. They sent a... <laughs> it feels like that, doesn't it? Also, I like how this grate that I just pushed out crushed one of these dudes. Down we go. Okay. Alright, here's the iMod. Stands for Infinity Modulator. It is a weapon that is constantly adjusting uh, its... It's, uh, resonant frequencies, so the board cannot actually adjust to it. Thanks, Monroe. It never shows up in the show. <laughs> it's just here in the game as a way to partially nerf the board. The Bombine. This. <sighs> Oh shit. Thanks, Monroe. I'll get Odell back to the ship. Yeah, get Odell back to the ship. Teleport out of here. Shit. Hmm. Alternate fire kills them in one shot, but it uses like way more ammo. Is this where I'm trying to go? I don't know. Ah, that's what I need. Yeah. Health station. <laughs> Shit. And they're teleporting in. Fuck. Okay. Your weapon doesn't work! Stop using it! Hey, a blue force field? I don't see a dis note here. Huh. Must have a special power source. It's downstairs, I'll go get it. With you if I had an eye mod, but uh what say I stay here and hold down the fort? I don't understand his logic there. He'd come with me if he had the weapon I have, which could protect him. What's he get he can't hold down the fort. He doesn't have he should come with me because I can protect him. Whatever, he's stupid. 
He's done. Shit! Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I know. Let's see. Now that doesn't unlock. There it is. That's what I was aiming for. Hey Monroe, if you're not back in five minutes, I'm not going in after you. <laughs> Don't worry, the, the weird tone will make sense in a minute. Ah, uh, that's what I gotta destroy. Whoa! Yeah. The Bevan the Bevan Bowers bar. God. Die. So the Borg actually have a really interesting built-in reason for vanishing like this. Uh when the Borg die, uh their remains are teleported to a processing area where they recycle the dead parts. It's all part of saving resources. And that that's actually built into the show. They do that on the show. That's not just some video game bullshit. The funny thing is, uh, Quake 4 with the Strog, the Strog do that in Quake 4, but they don't do that in Quake 2. Also, Quake 4 is developed by the people who made this game. Just saying. The stronger rip off ripoffs of the board. But they're cool. I like Quake 4. What's with the weird shadow of your player? Um, it's a Quake 3 engine thing. Um, you can disable shadows entirely, but uh, there isn't really dynamic lighting, or there isn't really dynamic shadows. What they do is they just take... They take a copy of your character's um, model, and they vertically squish it and color it all black. So those are actually polygons on the ground. It does adjust positionally based on the nearest light source, but it's not, you know, it, it's not a shadow cast on the wall or anything. It, it's an approximation of what a dynamic lighting source, or of what a dynamic shadow might do, but it's not really a dynamic shadow. Have I played Chex Quest? Yes, I have. Nice gun. Yes, this is a good gun. Oh, shit. I haven't beaten Chex Quest. Um... I beat the remake. <laughs> Did you play that? The, like, Unreal Engine remake of Chex Quest? Okay. I'm gonna get to the end of this level, and that's that's where I'm gonna call it for the day. And you can bet your ass I'm gonna stream this game in full of, at one point. Sure, I was hit. The board took the team through there. Beam out, Chang. You've done all you can here. Aye, sir. You have to fight more aliens. Yes. Have any of you guys ever watched Star Trek before? Ooh. Just out of curiosity. Damn, I gotta wait. Okay, so wait here and... You've seen one of the movies? Which one? I enjoy the movies for the most part. Old school Star Trek with your dad. Nice. I love the original series. Maybe once you don't remember? No, that's fair. Star Trek is not as popular um, 
as uh, it's 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 not as popular, generally speaking, as uh, Star Wars is. But part of that is it's kind of not as accessible. There's like more of it, so that's daunting. A lot of people don't even know where to start. To the point where I love Star Trek, I have no idea where somebody would start. <laughs> they had Spock in it, but he was old. It also had young Spock in it. You saw the 2009 one. That's a good one. I like that one. The, uh, the scene, my, I think my favorite part in that movie, actually, is the scenes with old Spock talking to, like, young Kirk. That's just really, really cool shit. Health terminal. Am I going the right way? Like, what the f Oh. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. Chang was down there. Yeah, so I need to ride this down. That's what I gotta do. Okay, well, glad I figured that out. Wasted some of my time. But that's fine. Kind of looks like that one place in Blast Pit. Yeah! No, that's fair. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, come on, Tim. I can't aim for shit right now. I mean, I am tired. I should cut myself a little slack. Ah, fuck. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, um... Sorry, I saw that ammo terminal. I'm like, I'm fine with using the alt fire for a minute. Okay, uh... That's what I needed. I don't know why that guy hasn't woken up and attacked me yet, but give him a minute. I'm sure he will. Yep! Fucking saw that coming. Yeah! Indirect kills. Love it. Yes! Half-Life 2 has really held up well. Especially, like, the, um, the outdoor segments. Highway 17 looks incredible. The coastline, the, the, the coast looks incredible. Yeah, it, it, Half-Life 2 is beautiful. And it always has been. Die, please. Okay, so that takes eight for two shots. How much does one shot take? Eight? What the fuck? Not sure I understand the logic here. Entering new area. Alright. Am I gonna burn myself trying to eat this now? Mmm. Good. Yeah, here they are. They've taken a dead, or they've they've taken a dead hazard team member, and they're trying to turn him into a Borg. The Borg do this shit all the time. See, that's why I feel like the Borg are zombies, but worse, is that they will forcibly turn you into one of them. They will hollow out your mind and link you up to their collective hive mind consciousness against your will. You you will still be alive. Um, it's suggested that people are still aware while this is happening. Hmm. 
What am I missing here? Rescue your teammates. I don't know how. It's one of the most realistic feeling games ever. Oh, there it is. Well, now what can I do? Oh, that, I can do this. Hey, 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 be careful. It's not working. I'm a big fan of uh, Rainbow Six Vegas 1 and 2. I need to play more CSGO. I told you. Well, what was I supposed to do? Yeah. It was all a simulation. Monroe, your tactical approach was, shall we say, tactless. All right, Hazard Team, report to debriefing. Nice going, Monroe. Sir, if I may, how was I supposed to know the panel would explode? That point is not relevant, Mr. Monroe. A given situation is not as predictable as you might desire. Your reckless decision has caused the death of you and your teammates. You have failed. Jeez. Had you followed standard hazard team procedures, you may have survived the simulation and achieved your mission objectives. Yes, sir. Procedure. Speak freely, Hansen. Deck four. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're multiplayer. Sir, I don't think procedure would have mattered. There wasn't any way I could have possibly rescued them. Someday, Mr. Monroe, you may be called upon to do the impossible. Consider this to be your personal Kobayashi Maru. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Computer, reroute turbo lift to the bridge. Also, the commanding officer in the, uh, the gold uniform is a Vulcan. He is the same species as Spock. Secondary EPS conduits on decks eight and nine rupturing. Hmm. Warp drive is offline. What happened? We responded to a distress signal from a derelict vessel and it opened fire. Tuvok, they don't respond to hails. Maybe we need to send a clearer message. Target their weapon systems and disable them. Firing phasers. Direct hit. Phasers had no discernible effect. The classic Star Trek bridge battle with shaking screens and exploding panels. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. I'm getting reports of extensive damage on decks 9 and 10. We're not going to survive another hit. Photon torpedoes, full spread. Torpedoes away. Like, the animation is so crap in its own way, but at the same time, this feels so much like the show. And you've just gotten sucked into a pocket dimension. A pocket dimension that is apparently a starship graveyard. That's not good. And there you have the setup to your game. Escape the starship graveyard. Everyone all right? I am undamaged. What just happened? Captain, we seem to have been torn from normal space. I think we've been pulled through some sort of isodimensional rift. Where are we? Apparently, here, Captain. Sensors and most of Voyager's primary systems are offline. Until repairs are made, it may be difficult to ascertain exactly where here is. Yes, it is pretty obvious. I mean, that, that's basically the formula... That's basically the formula that um, they followed, apparently. <laughs> You know, 
it's funny. Vulcans, they 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 can be kind of snippy. <laughs> Oh. Activision again. Yes! The the old Activision logo is just very nostalgic. Now, this cutscene right here is literally just the show's intro, but with totally new music. The music that they're playing here is unique to the game. Doesn't it, it doesn't show up anywhere else in Star Trek. This game did have a sequel, and the sequel also uses the Quake 3 engine. Um, the sequel is one of the most impressive games ever made using the Quake 3 engine. Um, but they, they re-recorded the theme for Elite Force, and the new recording for Elite Force 2 just kind of sounds flat and synthy. But uh, I, I really like this this version. Danny Pelfrey, just... Good job, man. Never heard of you before, but thank you. The sauce engine. Captain's log, stardate 53854.7. Voyager was attacked by an unknown force and transported to some... That is pizza, yes. ...graveyard. Whereabouts unknown. The ship is heavily damaged. Communications, propulsion, and other systems are offline. Until repairs are done, we're utterly helpless. Stranded. Let's get this ship back together, Chakotay. All right. Damage control online. Well, find out what you can about those other ships and exactly where I think it's interesting how the view screen is actually positional. Captain, there's a containment leak in engineering. If we can't get it sealed, we're going to have a warp core breach. Ensign Monroe, you're wearing a hazard suit. Get down to engineering and help Alana seal that leak. <laughs> My hazard suit doesn't have a helmet. Who the hell in a first-person shooter wears a hazard suit without a hel- Oh. Everybody. Anyways, that's probably- That's probably a good place to end. Um, let's get to the turbo lift. Let's, let's end. Quit game. Yeah. That's, that's a, that's a fine place to, to stop. I love Elite Force. It's a very well-made game. Folks, thank you for joining me. You have a good night. I'm definitely going to pick up Elite Force again in the future. I'm definitely going to pick up No Unless Forever in the future. Fuck it. I'm going to pick up Half-Life again at some point from where we left off today because I'm just having too much damn fun. Um, enjoy my desktop and all of its crazy icons. Um, I'm still constantly installing shit on here uh, just to see what I have. Uh, this, is the, this is the third Star Trek game I've installed in this thing because I've got Elite Force here. I've got... Uh, Deep Space Nine Dominion Wars here. Klingon Honor Guard, which is like one of very few M-rated Star Trek games. Yeah, Maslin, DB, Dr. Cars, everybody who is here, you all have a great night. I've really enjoyed having you all here. And I'll see you all in the future with uh, with more more shootery goodness. And uh, I, I'm probably, knock on wood, probably going to stream tomorrow. Um, but I don't think that I'm going to stream on Saturday. Uh, but probably going to stream tomorrow. Anyways, folks, I will see you around. And you have a good one. Oh, uh, one last thing. If anybody is ever interested, if, if anybody starts hunting down games after this, do not, for the love of God, get the PS2 version of Elite Force. The PC version of the game is great. The PS2 version of the game does not run very well at all. Um, I, I'm usually very forgiving of console ports. The PS2 version of Half-Life is a fantastic 
console port, but the PS2 version of Elite Force is really, really bad. So just a fair word of warning. I have no idea how interested anyone actually is in the game. Anyways, have a good night and be safe.